Hey, we're live. Hi. What's up, guys? It's another Wednesday at 7.30 Central, and we're live uh, talking about the Thorps. Uh, I'm sending this link out. Um, what's up, Amelia? How do you feel? I feel good. I'm excited to share all this stuff that we have prepared for you guys. Yeah. You've been working hard on it. Like, can you kind of talk about like the, well, the basic idea of what we're going to do right now? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we have two kind of separate topics that I think are going to like blend together. We have women who will do anything for men. And then the question that we're going to be kind of asking here is what is Grace Thorpe capable of? Mm -hmm. And when we ask this question, we are really asking what is Ben capable of and what is Grace willing to do for him? Um, with Ben, Grace is not only capable, but has allegedly committed crimes and terrorized members of her own family. In the light of what recently happened with Grace's younger brother, Joey, we are compelled to wonder what else is she capable of? What else is she willing to do? Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to look at a brief history of women who commit crimes for men. And um, we want to put it out there that we believe that there are complex reasons behind why these women did what they did for their male co-conspirators. Mm -hmm. um, we also believe that there are types of victims who are groomed to assist in the facilitation of grooming other victims by making the victim an accomplice Thanks, or even, thank you, or even, um, or even facilitator of abuse against other victims. This allows the abuser to gain more control over the first victim. The abuser manipulates the victim to facilitate crimes or abuse. The abuser has uh, now has collateral by coercing the original victim to do something as bad as the abuser has done. In this, the abuser and the victim become aligned or mirror one another. And we definitely see this kind of thing between um, the relationship between uh, Ben and Grace. So let me just... I know you're reading, mm -hmm. but I was just going to say for everyone uh, kind of joining, what we're trying to do is talk about specific cases of crimes where, in our opinion, there was there. Well, there would be male and female criminals, serial killers, kidnappers, sexual abusers, whoever. And it seemed like the males led and the females were uh, joined in most likely in our opinion due to wanting to please the male mm -hmm. obviously whenever they would begin to do these this criminal activity it doesn't really the, it, their innocence is kind of gone and that's a whole other conversation yeah did they mean to do it did they how how, how much is their fault the, the point is is what scares us and i feel like what people need to understand is this is a warning to grace to say like i'm not we're not saying grace is going to murder anybody or abuse anybody sexually mm -hmm. um we're saying that these are cases that are similar in our opinion to the extreme example of how Grace um, kind of has her relationship with her father, which we see her doing uh, things I don't think that she wants to do because Ben, mm -hmm. ha you know, is all that she has. And we'll get into it further. I'm going to let you talk. But we see from our last week's video that I don't think she would have taken Joey and did the whole thing with Courtney and dangle him in front of her if Ben hadn't have pushed her. And that's my opinion on it. I'll let you keep going. Yeah, that's my opinion too. Um, yeah. And I just wanted to say like, you know, um, um, things like terrorizing Courtney brings Ben and Grace closer together. Um, with every collaboration, Ben and Grace are becoming more and more like a single entity partners in crime. Ben is immobilized by the no contact order as well as his dwindling physical and mental health. And so he cannot act, but Grace can. Grace cannot scheme or come up with elaborate loopholes and lies, but Ben can. Ben is the brains and Grace is the body. We heard her uh, say something along these lines herself. Um, and also Ben um, 
much of the time admits how much easier it is to get away with things because he has Grace on his side and she's pretty and young. Um, so that's just this introduction. And later on, after we show like this first clip, we're going to go back and look deeper into these women's partnerships and crime and talk about certain patterns and similarities in the motives behind their involvement, as well as speculate on how they might benefit from partaking in these heinous crimes. So for now, uh, we welcome you to watch this clip. And um, like while we analyze, please feel free to share what you think as well in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, this clip for us reveals how Grace tends to entertain Ben's at times violent fantasies and laughs in agreement to the idea of mistreatment of other women. Mm -hmm. She seems willing to follow Ben to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick. You are the cosmos says she also really wants her siblings to join her. She said, she said that she wants to know if they think her choosing her dad's side was the right decision. Getting her siblings on his side will validate her. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. We'll get into that. Yes. And um, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got a little bit here. Let's see. Go, yeah. Just play it from the beginning if you can. Mm -hmm. So this is from a stream a couple days ago. Well, but the thing is, why would anybody care? You can be a really evil person if you're doing something interesting. Yeah. It's contributing in some way, like yeah. a serial killer. We need a new serial killer. Mm -hmm. People, it's like I've seen we need this. A whole new batch. But, yeah, like Ted Kaczynski. Uh, who's the the handsome one? What's Ted his Bundy. name? Ted Bundy. John Wayne Gacy. Ed Kemper. Ed Kemper. These were unique characters, but. Yeah, they could terrorize a whole town for like 30 years. But it we made sex hot. It made like going at the t Wichita, Kansas, totally boring place. Yeah. BT it made it like kind of hot to just be like taking a walk in your neighborhood. Yeah. This fucking lunatic with his fucking rope is like <laughs> coming up with new projects. I've got my kit together. <laughs> <laughs> but we need a new one. Yeah, there's not there's, testosterone. There's... They're too weak. Everyone's weak. I've watched all the like we've watched at this point. Like this, whenever I saw this live, I was like, "This is crazy," but it's not like yeah. It feels like they're trolling. Mm -hmm. It's nothing too insane. It's like you know they're kind of being provocative. I've yeah, everything you could possibly watch. I could have literally made every man in that bar cry. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Yeah. Including the Chinaman, the, the, the bartender. Like, it, you need some. I don't know, there needs to be like a resurgence of masculinity. Lots of serial killers have no love for. I think here they are. Uh. Mm -hmm. Serial killers were but, fake. A psyop. They moved. Up. I think they're playing it up for the camera here, but I think this is stuff they also talk about. And I think, uh, at least in this these kind of jokes, I think Ben. It's it play, I think it showcases a lot of how Ben feels about sex and serial killers and how hot he thinks it is. So they're joking, but I think there's some truth that is revealed about Ben's interests, and that's all I'll say. On to terrorism after that. Serial killers were fake. Okay. That was MK Ultra, actually. That's a Ooh, whole thing. Much. The idea that serial killers are fake. <coughs> a book called uh, God Dead damn Bundy. It. That guy's too handsome to be a serial killer. What the fuck is it? It was clearly an FBI agent. I mean, the thing about serial killers is, in actual fact, they're like the least danger in all these places. The amount of people they kill is nothing to bring the number of people that just car crashes and die. Yeah. Cancer, bad health care. Yeah. But they make life fun. Yeah. They make life fun. Like they some, do. There's a crazy motherfucker <laughs> that could strike at any time. Yeah. And especially if you're in that demographic, it's like he likes white girls. That's <laughs> true, Susie. <laughs> <Disney. laughs> the ones who kill kids, which is rare. It's usually. It's right. not rare for serial killed, killers to kill kids. 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 What, John Wayne Gacy? It's rare for serial killers to kill kids. Like, I mean, even Ted Bundy killed a 13-year-old girl at the end. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, pl plenty of serial killers kill kids, including BTK. Kids. Richard Ramirez killed kids. 
No, he never killed a kid. I think he did, but he also let a lot of people off, which is sort of like not really... Was Richard Ramirez the one who climbed into the eight-year-old girl's window? And I think this is kind of where I started noticing that when they talk about the eight-year-old girl window thing. <laughs> that might have... No. Oh, yeah. is, are they meaning Elizabeth that, that Smart? I, I believe, and we'll talk about this, they're referencing the Elizabeth Smart case. Um, or are they, they getting mixed up with Ted Bundy and then the age of the girl? No, I, no, there's also a case okay. that that was 13 year old from a school, but anyway, that's that's, that's, that's seriously freaky. Sorry. No, <laughs> I don't. Guy. I don't know enough. Yeah, and like rape them relentlessly for like three or four years. I have Wait. a feeling that those girls, it's not like healthy, <laughs> but it's like an interesting place to be when you're like 14. Amelia added that, and you've been like raped a thousand times by this guy. You get to know him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so number one, um, like I think we're he's talking about the Elizabeth Smart case in which a man named Brian Mitchell uh, climbed into the window of Elizabeth Smart and her younger sister. Um, we can uh, talk about uh, that. How old was Elizabeth one. Smart again? I feel that I actually I think was... she might have been fifteen or something like that. Um, and she was uh, like a teenager, but uh, no, I think she was fi fourteen. Fourteen. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was fourteen. Um, when uh, this guy kidnapped her, her younger sister, who might have been eight, um, was told to like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think she saw anything. But uh, the point is, is that she was chained up and forced to become like a she was raped by this Brian Mitchell guy. He had his wife uh, with him. Well, we, um, we'll get to that when we get to yeah, yeah. Barzi. Yeah. I just yeah. think it's interesting because luckily Elizabeth Smart wasn't murdered and she was saved months later but mm -hmm. she was forced to be this walk around this with this guy and be one of his wives brides i mean right it's awful how but long it's was she captive for like um i think months it was like something like i want to say seven months it, or something yeah it was um um she was rescued march 12th 2003 kidnapped june 5th 2002 so many oh a year almost a year almost yeah. a year Right. Um, but the, the, you know, not to go into like a whole history lesson, but I think that, uh, um, ultimately Ben is saying that this girl, I, I think he's talking about Elizabeth Smart. He's talking about any rape victim though, that they might've enjoyed. Yeah. That they didn't enjoy it, but wasn't, it wasn't a bad place to be. Let's listen to it again. Uh, you yeah. kill kids, which is rare. It's usually hookers. Who killed, who killed kids? There what, John Wayne Gacy? Who killed kids. 14 yeah and like rape them relentlessly for like three or four years i have the feeling that those girls it's not like healthy <laughs> but it's like an interesting place to be when you're like 14 and you've been like raped a thousand times by this guy so it's an interesting place to be when you're like 14 and you've been raped a thousand times by this guy right because he goes on to say other stuff like and and it makes and it like, more interesting <laughs> right and i think I think that we've gone past the kind of trolling. We need more serial killers. Ha ha ha. Like whatever. And this to me feels like kind of Ben giving a philosophy on life. Oh yeah. It's so personal you know, to him. You, yeah. Yeah. You really do. Stockholm syndrome. You really do become probably. It's like an interesting way to go through adolescence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they can't keep up the persona all the time. Like there must be sometimes, you know what I mean? Like you can't keep that yeah, up yeah. for that long. It would ha you'd have to get some familiarity, right? You can't yeah. just be like. Plus, every chick kind of wants to be like a slave bride, right? It's like I don't know if every chick wants to be a slave bride. I, I mean, <laughs> may maybe Ben can try to like, sorry, uh, talk about it on some kind of like uh, Freudian bullshit yeah. about how all women want to be slave. But I'm sorry, I, I just I, I don't think that's even true on a, on that level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's you pop your cherry in like a very dramatic way, and I don't know that those chicks after that, it's kind of like they're not garbage in our society, right? Mm. Uh, no. Or like a girl has been molested by her uncle and stuff. No, Unless they're she not. She becomes fat and dumpy, which they rarely do. It's kind of, it's kind of like it, she's going to be interesting in bed. 
So this a girl is who's insane. Right, a girl who's been lested is going to be interesting in bed. Grace is agreeing. Wait, with and then he said like a, the girl who like was raped by her uncle like throughout. Right, she's going to be interesting, and yeah. she's not going to be dumpy. Um, and Grace is agreeing yeah, with it. That's another thing that I've heard like multiple times from Grace or, or Ben is that, like victims are not ugly like losers like they're pretty and mm -hmm. like victims of of sexual assault like mm -hmm. he always kind of points it out like that right <laughs> yeah they're not garbage a lot of times it makes them hot for some reason I don't know I'm just saying when you because they get an enormous amount of sexual attention when so you it's like yeah, this when you bullshit kind of. Tell their they, understand they they understand masculinity. So so if you've been molested by your uncle and raped, somehow you know more about what men want, and you can give in to those urges. I mean, that's like this I mean, the most twisted it red pill twisted. bullshit. Yeah, because as we like, we're gonna go into it, but like there is this idea of being primed for like whatever uh, future abuse or whatever future relationships that are um unhealthy you know it kind of is that that way of like if somebody's so broken down uh you can spot them and like they become this target and it, i mean he's really aware of that because of how he how he always talks about that you know mm -hmm. right. yeah i'm not saying it's a good, i'm not saying i endorse it i'm just saying well like it's it's kind of interesting because like it's not their fault. It's not that they're a whore. Like, yeah, they're, it's, they're, it's not their yeah. fault, but they're like totally familiar with like the masculine sex drive. Right. So they're like experienced, but it's totally not their fault. Yeah. They could still be kind of virginal in a way because like they'd never. Who cares if they're virgin? What? Does this retard know there's a camera rolling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good point. I'd say like probably Charlie. a regular guy. It's like you couldn't be more like you really have to fuck up to like really shock her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and so you could just be like a regular guy, kind of selfish. She'd be like, you know. I'm, this is a lot better. This is way better than my previous experience. This is way better. So With it's me so it's way better because I'm not being raped by my uncle, like or whatever. It's better. Right. It's better. So they're saying like it's better when you finally have sex with a guy that isn't your uncle. It'll be way better. I'm sure cool. that. Yeah, that's probably true. I, I don't know. You're probably horribly fucked yeah. up and traumatized. I'm assuming. I'm not saying it's a good idea. It's or different for everyone, I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it depends on Your the experience. next guy well, that comes around as well, you know. Who are dumpy and like sort of garbage. Yeah. No one paid them attention. And so yeah. they were just treated like garbage always. They were ignored. No one cared. That's yeah. the real problem. If someone pays you way too much attention and it's like crazy attention, it's actually better for you than just being ignored. Yeah, that's like abuse is better than neglect. I think abuse is better than neglect. I think yeah. that is true. Neglect is the worst form of abuse. I mean, it is abuse, but like, at least somebody cares if they're. So is that how Grace views her dad? I mean, and in some ways that maybe she feels like, well, if he abuses me, <laughs> at least he cares enough to like constantly. Oh be yeah, like that's, yeah, that's her whole argument is like. Oh, everybody else is jealous because my dad gives me extra attention, aka mm -hmm. he's really abusive and obsessed with me, you know. Like yeah, yeah. and that's what love yeah. is, you know. It's true, like with kids, like with babies, it's rather to have an abusive, interactive mother than a neglectful one. Yeah. Well, what? like with you, your mother's was horrendous towards you. But she paid a lot of attention to you. Yeah. So you're an interesting person. So you're an interesting person? Like, like, um, because Grace is an interesting person because Courtney was a abusive to her, but gave her a lot of attention. I mean, I, I just, yeah, if you had been just like one of these ignored people. Yeah. I mean, this is just kind of like you, ridiculous, so like silly. It was like projection really too, don't you think? Yeah. I, I, yeah. To me, it's all about Ben. Yeah, it is. Like he might as well just 
say what he means, but he's not going. He's not going to like to say like, well, our relationship and our closeness has made you an interesting person. You know, he's not gonna say that. But she's not like. So he always puts it on Courtney. Yeah. Yeah. You're like crazy, but you're passionate. Okay. So here's our next part. This is gonna be a little bit of a true crime. Although, can I? I want to say one thing. Yesterday, we were on a VC talking to Grace, um, and she did say that it, it was hard for her to hang out with normies uh, mm -hmm. because to her, she was so used to the chaos being all around her and people fighting in the family and her life that she's scared to think about what it would be like in a world where there isn't constant chaos and fighting. Yeah, she was saying that to us, and I mean, well, right before that, her dad was saying like, "You're never gonna get a, you're never gonna have friends because you basically have to lower yourself and be boring, and care about what they care about and commiserate with other people because that's all that friendship is. So you should forget about it." Like, right before then, he was kind of making it seem like you know impossible, and that nobody's ever gonna relate to you because of what you are and whatever. And only him. Right. Only he can right. sympathize with her, even though he yeah. doesn't <laughs> ever. Right. Yeah. Um, we'll get into the, the VC a little bit later, but right now we're going to, this might seem disconnected, but I think it, it makes sense. It will connect. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, these are very, right. Uh, especially because the last name on this list is somebody who Grace and Ben and, um, have discussed uh, and compared Grace herself to somebody that uh, Grace, I would even say, aspires to. So these are just women who are uh, basically similar in the sense of the fact that they also facilitated some kind of crime, some kind of thing for their husbands. Uh, and I pleasure. don't think, right. And I don't think they would have done it without their partner. Who's a man, husband, because, boyfriend, yeah, whatever. Yeah, look at who's benefiting. Right? Getting like, them to do this. Yeah, yeah. They benefit, the women that are in on this list, they did benefit from the crime. Otherwise, why when, why would they do that but they're they're benefiting out of like a kind of vying for control with their uh male counterpart they get the benefit but the the the, the victim the no no the um the man the partner mm -hmm. gets mm -hmm. the benefit of like the sexual stuff right um right. but like these women do get something out of that through him right. through like this deal or whatever you know right okay and i'll just say that's the thing we're worried about is the fact that we've seen grace do abusive things to courtney to mm -hmm. the kidnapping to her brothers to whoever mm -hmm. or ben for the and uh at, at the behest of ben right okay so let's so go I'm gonna I'm going to read yeah. this really quick. Uh, what do all these women have in common? They're all felons who are serving or have served time for their actions in facilitating a crime or many crimes for their male partner. Uh, they are capable. Uh, were they capable of doing what they did on their own is our question. If their motives for kidnapping or sex trafficking was primarily for the sexual gratification or nefarious or parent interests of their abusive partners, what were they getting out of it? Um, how do these co-conspirator women benefit? Right. So now I can keep going. Um, the first one on our list is Nancy Garrido. Can you tell us a little bit about Nancy? Yeah. Nancy Garrido um, is known for, along with her uh, partner, husband, Philip Garrido, kidnapping um, a girl named JC Dugard. Uh, uh, and she, 11 years old. Yes, and she was kept in their backyard slash house for 18, for, years. for 18 years until she was finally uh, rescued from being dis discovered. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, the district attorney in the Dugard case believes Nancy scouted J.C. Dugard as a prize for Philip to be kidnapped. Um, Nancy held Dugard down in the car she after the kidnapping as J.C. drifted in and out of consciousness during the three-hour drive from her home to the Garrido home in Antioch, California. Uh, yeah, Nancy Garrido um, could not bear children herself for Philip, uh, nor could she interest him sexually. And so she came to accept the idea of J.C. Dugard um, being a captive, being raped, and forcefully having Philip's children at the age of 15 and then 16 in the backyard. She helped deliver the children. She helped uh, hide them and JC and made sure that 
none of them ever left the house. And yeah. in the case of Nancy Garrido, uh, JC's kidnapping um, was a gesture of affection and control. Uh, this generous gesture allowed Nancy to share some of that control. And uh, other details of her is that she would film children for Philip in parks with a video camera. And this was so that Philip himself, with his own uh, record, uh, he was a rape. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so he wouldn't have to risk it. She she did that. And it right. was easier for her because she was a woman. It was easier because women right. were trustworthy. So I think I think what's interesting is the way that again here's a case where of, of many we're going to see where I don't believe Nancy Garrido would have been interested in kidnapping a young girl and holding her for 18 years. No. But whatever whatever relationship sprouted out of her obsession with her husband Philip led her to become like this. Now we're not saying she's an innocent victim. We're not saying, oh, it's so complicated. No, she belongs in jail. She's a piece of shit. The moment she did the first horrific thing, she did it. And what we're what I'm worried about and Amelia's worried about is what, you know, what has Ben asked Grace to do? Right. And we're gonna look at some of those things actually, look at clips. And the worry is that he could ask her to do worse things and that this she would do kind of anything. Warning. For him, she right. and her own. And another thing I want to point out with Philip Garrido, her her male co-conspirator, was that he was incredibly uh, deranged and like believed in all kinds of religious stuff. Like, I mean, he did he was a meth user, but he he did have all kinds of. Um, I think those like religious things are are all kinds of like justifications for your actions a lot of the time, and it will allow you to be like very righteous in what you're doing so uh the women kind of it's it's a way to believe in that person and like mm -hmm. say this person can do no wrong because they are like a prophet in some way right so um, um are we gonna uh no wait. wait uh let's go through these these women just talking about what they've okay. done really quick and then we'll get to other clips okay so uh louise and turpin uh people have there's a recent case of the Turpin kids, the Turpin family of 13 children that were discovered living in a suburban house, filthy. The ages, I believe, were like three to 29. And um, uh, the, when the police discovered the children, the young, some of the youngest ones were chained to their beds. They weren't allowed to go to school. They lived in complete filth. They weren't allowed to go outside. And this had been happening for like over i want to say 20 years the only reason the children yeah. the the only reason the children were uh found is because one of the sisters jordan turpin escaped and called the police officer they had they could barely they don't you know the but uh with louise the mother um mm -hmm. she uh came from a sexually abusive household her grandfather sexually abused her and then when she found her husband uh he actually tried before they even had kids tried to get her to get her little teenage sister to come live with them and be like sister wives it's mm -hmm. really dark it's really awful but um similarly yeah. you know at at trial and all these places people asked you know did you know why did this happen why did she allow her husband to talk her into acting this way um and uh right yeah. she has like a, a past or a history it's something that made her uh, primed for it and mm -hmm. um, when I look at Louise Turpin, the only thing, the only reason why I, I kind of connected or we did connected her is like, this is this like future possibility where Grace leaves and then meets a man like Ben who mm -hmm. sees that she is primed for it as mm -hmm. they have said themselves, sexually interesting, interesting, sexually, whatever. Um, and um, so yeah, like that that kind of action would only be something that she would, you know. I mean, that's the future. I think that's something that yeah, this he's is, always going to have just, to worry about. Yeah. But these are different examples. Do you want to move on yeah, to? Move on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can kind of wait. Oh, I wanted to. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to. Finish. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Wanda Barzi. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So <clears throat> Wanda Barzi was the co-conspirator in the kidnapping of Elizabeth Smart. 
uh, for her husband, Brian Mitchell. Um, Wanda, um, at one point, Elizabeth Scott, uh, Elizabeth um, Smart was a, <laughs> was um, interviewed about Wanda's release because she just got released out of prison recently. Oh, wow. And, she did? Yes. And uh, Elizabeth Smart um, uh, did an interview about how her, uh, like her feelings towards that. And um, she she basically talked about how um, sadista, sadistic Wanda was and that when, you know, she had passed out because she was forced to give a uh, drink alcohol, uh, she woke up like on the ground and like her hair was like um, had, you know, she had vomited into her hair and stuff and that the next morning Wanda uh, just looked at her and like laughed and laughed. Um, and she also... Wanda also witnessed every time Brian Mitchell raped uh, 14-year-old Elizabeth Smart um, and uh, never tried to help her escape. Uh, mm -hmm. Help uh, was, you know, they were in public together um, in every way, uh, helped her husband. I, I haven't looked at the case for Wanda. I, I assume she maybe testified against Brian Mitchell. Maybe that's why she got released 20 yeah. years early. It's, I guess it's, sorry, it, it's been 20 years since the case uh, ended, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I said, uh, Wanda, yeah. Wanda obviously didn't take any of her actions seriously because, uh, you know, she, Elizabeth remembers Wanda's sadistic laughter. And so we don't know how she benefited, benefited from partaking in these, this crime, but we do know that she thought it was funny. So yeah. uh, in other words, I think she must've gotten some kind of thrill out of it or enjoyed having control for a change mm -hmm. maybe. Um, and then Provo Kid, uh, I think that's his name. Nice, another long Thorpe advertisement. I know. I every time we make a video, you usually say something, and I no hate to you, man. Like, I know you've been involved in the Thorpe world since it's kind of started. I assume. Um, I, I feel like for us, we make these things because we want people to be able to see the different sides as as what's to what's going on. Uh, whether last week with Grace. Uh, taking Joey without uh, Courtney's permission um, or uh, talking about when Grace showed up at Courtney's and uh, in the morning and recorded her. I feel like those things should be discussed because otherwise Grace just kind of gets her side of the story. And um, I think it's important to give a kind of critical side to the story. You know, I also believe that Grace does not understand the consequences of anything. She just doesn't think that there are any. So um, this is like a true warning to her that like, you know, like I think that you don't see the consequences, Grace, but there, there, there are bound to be consequences for you if you continue to do <laughs> these, you know, things for Ben. Um, okay, next one. Carla Homolka, a uh, co-conspirator um, in rapes and murders of teenage girls, including her own little sister, Tammy Homolka. Um, Carla uh, was the uh, was married to Paul Homolka. She, she was completely obsessed with him. Her greatest fear is she was not be able to hold on to this, in her mind, wild and thrilling man who was a serial rapist and eventually murderer. Um, mm -hmm. When Paul Homolka would become bored or distractive, she would either do something to excite him or find another person for him to get excited about, i.e. another rape. Um, all the time, Carla knew exactly what Paul was doing and encouraged him in his behaviors. She uh, she would do anything to keep his love. Um, and f for people that don't follow the case, uh, Carla at the beginning uh, as a present essentially said that... Uh, on their for as a wedding present she would allow paul to rape her teenage sister tammy who i believe was 15 uh carla got uh, anesthesia from the um vet tr vet she worked at um and some other drugs and they overdrugged tammy they filmed her being raped and then tammy died and you'd think, oh, that's where all this ended. But no, when Tanley Homolka died, the Carla and Paul said that, oh, my God, she drank too much and choked on her own vomit. And somehow the mm -hmm. police agreed as to that was the case. And they went and committed more crimes from there. 
Yeah. Um, and I think, I mean, how would you connect the, I mean, the obsession with wanting to, uh, no matter what the abuse, because Carla was physically yeah. abused by Paul. There's like pictures that people have seen of her with black eyes. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, I think like specifically the idea that like, you know, I think the enthusiasm of Carla matches that of Grace, perhaps like just being like um, when Ben makes a suggestion, Grace tends to like have to get overly excited about mm -hmm. that and be in alignment and in agreement with him with and him, then yeah. especially those like, like ideas of like i don't know what to do i need to excite my dad i need to find another person for him to get excited about just something else mm -hmm. um and i think that that is like this huge distraction of like mm -hmm. what's actually going on and it's just like i don't know like it's a super like crazy way to want to please people but yeah um all right, so Mira this is Hanley. a more even more extreme example. You know, none no. of us are saying no. <laughs> Grace is a rapist, murderer, accessory. What we're saying is here's I'm saying this again. I know extreme examples where we're afraid that if Ben keeps going the way he's going, maybe things could lead to that extreme of a place. You know, so right. um, yeah. yeah. Do you want to read the this? Sure. <laughs> okay, Mira Henley was. Uh, known as the most hated woman in Britain. Um, her partner, um, Brady. Ian Brady. Uh, Ian Brady, sorry. Uh, uh, tested her blind allegiance by including her on plans to rape and murder someone, and Henley agreed. Wanting to impress Brady, she took to wanting to become more Germanic by wearing short skirts, waistcoats, and high-heeled boots. She got rid of her dishwater brown hair and bleach it to platinum blonde, and she wore crimson lipstick in an attempt to look more Aryan uh, to please Brady. And she, uh, we, we should say, like, Ian Brady and Myra Henley uh, sexually assaulted and murdered uh, kids and teenagers in yeah. uh, the Moors, and... Uh, just it's important to know Ian Brady uh, was like obsessed with Nietzsche and Nazis and mm -hmm. was like kind of the, like the big, he was like an internet edge Lord that like <laughs> went ahead and Before uh, the time. So there was this idea of she wanted to look like an Aryan to please. Anyway, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she, um, she adopted his antisocial, uh, so anti-society philosophy and became just as anti-social as he was. She kept a photograph of Irma Greece, as I say it, Grace. Grace, a female SS guard at Auschwitz and uh, Ravenbrook uh, concentration camps in her handbag while Brady started to call her Hesse as homage to Rudolf Hess. Um. So it just kind of shows like what's it's, what's funny is like there's always like, you know, this influential thing like they were influenced by other people and like, you know, um, while Henley was obsessed with Brady, she was also terrified of him. She had sent a letter to her friend in which she said if she, uh, she asked her, like, if I'm ever found dead, go to the police and tell them that Brady was somehow involved. She would later write a letter from behind bars which read within months he had convinced me that there was no god at all he could have told me that the earth was flat the moon was made of cheese and the sun rose in the west i would have believed him such was the power of his own persuasion over time brady started to reveal his twisted fantasies to henley who in turn uh in turn agreed to um pose in sexually explicit photographs there was one photograph um so there was one photograph henley of henley kneeling on the floor with marks from a whip visible across her body the couple started to fantasize about um committing bank robberies together um but soon enough the fantasies of robbery soon turned to child sex abuse and murder in July of 1963, the couple started talking about committing what they describe as, a, as the perfect murder. Mira Henley was involved in all five murders committed. Um, years later, Henley would make a confession 
um, to the slayings, and she would highlight her main role in the murders. She said uh, that at the time, children were more likely to trust a woman than a man, so she had the duty of abducting the victims. At one point in time, many people erroneously believed that sexually motivated murders were only committed by disturbed men, but Henley redefined how society viewed women. As criminologist uh, Colin Wilson said, before the Moore's murders, we had little or no concept of women as evil. So, Yeah, um, and I just wanted to, to trope said bold claim to align any one of these characters. Um, I think, again, for us, it's about taking the most extreme cases of women going along with a man's desire and fantasy and trying to warn Grace uh, about this behavior. Because if she's already committed abduction of a kid just you know, two weeks ago or whenever it was, that's pretty bad. Like most people I know haven't kidnapped their 11 year old brother for their, to um, essentially, Ben has quoted saying to troll Courtney. That's really, I'd say antisocial fucked up behavior. So yes, this is the extreme and we'll keep repeating this. Mm -hmm. Grace isn't at that level yet, but if she keeps following Ben's desires, then I think something really bad is going to happen and it's already happened. So yeah. No, no hate to you, tropes. We're just making my little speech. Okay, let's go on to Janice Hooker. Yeah. Uh, so Grace is in the chat. Uh, uh, <laughs> McDonald's incident. Um, I, I just, I mean, again, I, I know that's kind of like the, the joke of like it's just McDonald's. We just took Joey to McDonald's, but you know what you did? You took Joey without permission from Courtney, who's his guardian right now, and uh. It's it's I think it's pretty antisocial behavior. Okay, no shade. Carry on. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is our last one. Uh, okay, I'll read this before one. it goes lane. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before. <laughs> uh, okay, so Janice Hooker was the co-conspirator in the kidnapping of two victims. Um, one was murdered by her husband Cameron Hooker. But Janice agreed to allow her husband, Cameron, to have a slave who he would torture under the conditions that would benefit herself. J Janice was a victim of her husband's abuse. She had gotten married to Cameron when, he was when she was 15. Um, she was abused by her family before she met her husband, too, similar to the Turpin, Louise Turpin. Mm -hmm. She submitted to the abuse of her husband and did not share an interest in the BDSM fantasies he was in, too. Not, uh, pretty extreme ones. She was still forced to play along. At one point, her husband Cameron almost drowned her. He, she was also hung by her wrists and tortured. Eventually, um, Cameron began to talk about abducting a stranger and forcing her into sexual slavery. And rather than leaving him, Janice made conditions. He would only whip the slave and not her, um, but he wouldn't have sex with the slave. Only she would, would be the one that would uh, have sex with her husband. Uh, so eventually they kidnapped a 19 year old hitchhiker uh, or killed her. And then eventually a year later kidnapped a 20 year old named Colleen Stan and held her for many years and violently tortured her with like the most extreme versions of BDSM. Do you remember how long Colleen was held for? Uh, it was an incredibly long time. It just, was, I think it was, it's either uh, also um, 18 years or longer than that. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, let's see. Kidnapping of Col Colleen Stan, uh, seven years. And when oh. we talk about what he did, he would, like, for years, she was, like, you know, for months, she'd be held by her wrists. Uh, there's a, a period of a year where she, I mean, this seems too extreme to even believe sometimes, where she apparently lived uh like under his bed in like a wooden like cubby type thing. You can read all about it. But the point is, is that um, Janice uh, went along with all this stuff because of what, because of her husband and what she wanted for him, which is, I don't want to be abused, but I do want to like be with you and have children. Mm -hmm. um, another very extreme example. Um, yeah. Um, for sure. I think like the, the, the most interesting part for me is the idea of accepting something because you can't say no to it, but then you do have somewhat of a power to meet conditions as like a, a spouse. Like, okay, um, 
I, if, if you want to do this, then I get to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a benefit, you know, like Mm -hmm. that's how somebody benefits from agreeing to do something so crazy. So like, you know, out of line. Right. I mean, also, uh, we're not Fritzel, uh, uh, Joseph Fritzel will be mentioned because Grace talks about him. I think that clip might be in there. Maybe it's not. Um, it's we, not. We, it's not. We, we covered it. You know, Grace has talked about Fritzel before, but Fritzel um, wasn't the same kind of relationship that we're talking about. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, let's move on to the most famous one. Uh, Gislaine Maxwell. Okay. Um. Uh, do you want to just yeah. do the background really quick? Um, we all I, know who it is. So. I think we all know. Uh, oops. Yeah. So there's something I wanted to say, though. Um, Sorry. After this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ghislaine, we all know Ghislaine played a major role in recruiting, grooming, and abusing teenage girls for Jeffrey Epstein between, uh, you know, for many years. Uh, she's in jail now for his crimes for taking part in them. Is there mm-hmm. anything you want to say about her? Um, I think, I guess let's show these clips and then I'll go back to talking about what Grace, um, likes about her so much. I completely agree. There are extreme examples of, of females, women that committed crimes in with men, not by themselves. But, Mm -hmm. um, I think, like I said before, uh, if we look at Grace's behavior, which we're about to do, um, I think a lot of this behavior wouldn't happen without Ben's influence and desire. Let me just read this really quick. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to talk about what Grace likes about Ghislaine. In a recent stream, she referred to her as really pretty and said that she had a certain confidence and a regalness that was attractive or admirable to Grace. Mm-hmm. So I ask why Ghislaine, and it obviously is like somewhat of a joke, but... I'd like to go back and, and like remind, um, like I remember what I said about Grace, um, her sense of uh, confidence in the original video that we put out. And that's mm-hmm. that little um, blurb that I added. As a part of the grooming process, Ben has taken time to instill Grace with this confounded sense of confidence by encouraging her to be as shameless as he is when it comes to hating others and to be as natural as he is when it comes to inflicting pain onto others. He uses these confidence boosting pep talks conflated to shameless hate and cruelty and winds Grace up to attack others relentlessly. That, uh, That is, there is no end in sight. There is no satisfaction for Ben, and sometimes we believe that the only satisfaction for Ben would be the deaths of the people that he hates. This is because he says this all the time. He ta- he talks about um, how much he wants Courtney dead and coerces Grace to express the same sentiment to an extreme. As we've seen in many streams, Ben encourages Grace to be more passionate and driven to revenge than he is. He says things like, you should want your mother to pay for what she's done to you and grace would often struggle to impress him much of grace's behaviors are no longer authentic to her but rather affectations these affectations are an exaggerated uh, imitation of the expressions of ben's emotion she must anticipate them so as to gather enough energy to put on this act for ben's benefit carla homoka for example was coerced, in my opinion, to prove devotion by showing a certain bravado when expressing a strong and personal interest in the things that her partner was suggesting. This is why many saw her as overly willing to do these things for him and therefore equally psychotic. But there is proof that this was not the case when both Carla and her partner underwent the same psychological evaluation where she got a very low score on the psychopathology uh, test, and his results were extremely high. He had orchestrated these fantasies and rapes for sure, um, and murders, while Carla organized them and made it happen for him as gestures of affection and control. The confidence Whoops. admired by 
sorry. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'll just yeah, yeah. Back. I'm almost done. Uh, the confidence admire, admired in Ghislaine by Grace is really Ghislaine's lack of being emotionally implicated by the things that she has done. It is a non conscience. Uh, see how Grace just laughs and laughs. The clip of her saying, I don't take this seriously. This is just content. It seems like she's play acting, but. Uh, like she's putting this on for Ben's benefit, we question what she's capable of in this. Grace's right. connection with these women, like Ghislaine, mm -hmm. perhaps is this non-conscious conscience necessary for bypassing the abuse inflicted upon her by Ben, in this case, by finding a proxy for the painful parts that she doesn't like. And that's what this yeah. clip will kind of show. Okay. I mean, let's make some fucking content, right? I mean, you people paid $200 for this bitch to come out here. And what do we... She's talking about Ava. This is in the Ava era when Ava showed up and then left really fast because of Ben's behavior. Yet we get her secretly calling daddy saying, I feel uncomfortable because what? My dad tugged on her hair and... Exactly. My dad had been talking about the house for wayward hoes for a long time. He's not kidding about this. She is a wayward hoe. Now, does he see her as somebody that he wants to have a relationship with? No. Ava is 22 years old. She's whatever. She's a kid in his eyes. It's not like he was. But, you know, we picked her up and, uh, you know, he was like, all right, you're going to listen to me. She was she kept walking away from him when he went to get Dell's lemonade with her and he told her to heal. And he told her if she was thirsty, she said, OK, not cool, dude. Fuck! you bitch fuck you fuck you sorry do you feel unsafe when you're at the gas station with random men who are coming up to you and harassing you did you feel safe did you text daddy then please just communicate if i did something wrong ava i'm communicating right now i'm here i'm communicating we're communicating i'm gonna make content out of this bitch because you don't wanna and i had my viewers i think what uh, uh, part of what amelia is saying i think is that also grace is kind of the point of view that she has seems to be uh, a regurgitation of the way Ben feels about what Ava did wrong. And I think, I don't know if we're going to look at the clips, but before this, when Ava and Grace were on uh, in a chat with Ben in Telegram, Grace seemed to be much more like sympathetic to Ava, even embarrassed of Ben. But once Ava left and Ben was able to talk to Grace off camera for hour hours later, she's repeating Ben's talking points, saying Ava should have just like, put up with the shit. Um, and then there's also the other kind of layer of it being about content, which I don't know if if that even really matters for what we're talking about here. Pay $200 for your fancy little ass to get on a plane and come down here or come over here. And now, oh, guess what? I want to go to my rich aunt's mansion. I just want to go to their birthday party and maybe you can crash it, but you can't stream it because they won't like that. Fuck you. Let's give the people what they want. Okay. Let's give the people what they want. You want to act all fancy? Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch the stream and seethe. Seethe from your aunt's mansion, okay? You fucking begged them to come pick you up because my dad tugged on your hair. And what? We went to a restaurant and he said that an old fat woman looked like the devil. Okay, it's funny. Okay, give me a fucking break, Ava. Give me a break. You... Go to gas stations at 2 a.m. in the morning. You told me when you were 14, you would hang out. Is Grace capable of doing what she's done without Ben? Or all her actions and affectation for Ben's benefit? Next clip. This is now we're going to look at what happened before this clip. And then which I is interesting. So, Grace, the first clip we saw is Grace being like completely like, fuck you, Ava. You should have just accepted however my dad treated you, pulled your hair, told you this or that. Things are a little different when we hours previous. We were walking on the bike path and I tried to train her like heel. Ben's talking about how he treated Ava. Walk next to me. You know, I bought her some nice lemonade. By the way, this is from Shamu's documentary. Shout out Shamu. And you know uh -huh. what I mean? It's just this like she kept running away. And so then Grace's job, right, was to be the Ghislaine Maxwell to my Jeffrey Epstein. So, you know, I was just saying like, okay, this is what you guys heard that, right? Grace's job is to be the Ghislaine Maxwell to my Jeffrey Epstein. So let's listen to it a little bit again. And then I, we were walking on the bike path and I tried to train her like heel 
walk next to me. You know, I bought her some nice lemonade and you know uh -huh. what I mean? It's just this, like she kept running away. And so then Grace's job, right. Was to be the Ghislaine Maxwell to my Jeffrey Epstein. So, you know, I okay. So there's no, Ben's not laughing. I mean, earlier when we were well, talking about serial killers, it was kind of trolling at the beginning. Yeah. He's but mad being, at Grace. Yeah. He's and Grace is hearing this. They're in a telegram private VC. So like, He's saying Grace's job is to be Ghislaine. She's here to like, uh, you know, help me get Ava to get Ava to be part of the House of for Wayward Hoes, which we still the idea for the House of Wayward Hoes was women would sit on their knees and read the Bible to Ben and cook for him. I don't even fucking know. It sounds awful, but right, you know, and like the, it's funny because Grace would become really desperate at times and be like pleading somebody to come and take her place and be like come on and then she'd say stuff like he's so interesting and tall and he's like so attractive you know like mm -hmm. what's the problem just saying like okay this is what we do here you're gonna walk next to me on the bike path right and it's a, it's a walking <laughs> path too and she's walking ahead of me and i said so he's mad that ava walked ahead of him come back here and walk next to me and then i had to go to kind of like you know verbal commands like a dog like heal get back here right and then we'd walk a little and she just wouldn't do it and grace's point is to tell her she needs to listen right so grace was supposed to tell ava to listen to help ben right she mm -hmm. had been on a trip okay it's like hi and then we were talking a little bit and i just was like all right let's just like kind of get over this like i'm not grace's dad i'm ben right you know what i mean like all right and my suggestion would be like just slight physical violence towards each other grace on the way there had 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 stimulated me to violent homicidal rage so that we almost got in an accident so that was the context i reached over grabbed a chunk of her hair pulled it and then released but on the way over i can't tell you what i had to do to grace to calm her down because yeah could you explain that it, it's then, illegal like rage. it's either that's a whole other thing right it's like mysterious thing that when but they were driving to pick up all Ava. of that stuff does make grace more compliant more like you better like you know shape up stop acting like this and you need to be on my side i'm right. sure the you argument had something Ava. to do with that you know right or be communicative and that's fine or do your own fucking thing, and I don't fucking care what happens to you. It's on you. If you're just going to be a retard, be a retard. And if you die, you die. Okay, but I could yeah. see the building kind of escalating way in which this is going to be like a torture session for me. Mm -hmm. Ava being here is not a torture session for me. The home for wayward hoes has to work for me, or it's it's not a, like it's, I'm not helping these females. Right. It's got to work for me. I've got to get better food, better everything, better, better you know, food. feminine right. companionship. <laughs> Right, me ben, pulling her hair puts me in a vulnerable position. It doesn't hurt her. This fucking lying Brie is is full of shit. It doesn't hurt a girl to have. Here's a good good uh, question: Why doesn't Ben try to find someone into BDSM? I think it's because he's also into non consensual aspect to sexual encounter. Uh, I agree with that, Susie B. It's interesting you say that because when this whole thing happened multiple times, I asked Grace and Ben, <clears throat> why didn't <clears throat> excuse me why don't you just go on like some kink site find some girl woman who's into it because i'm sure there's women that are into it you wouldn't have to pay her i bet he could find someone but or yeah like you were even saying he wasn't like, into that why don't you just make a disclosure for people <laughs> coming in right. about what was gonna happen or something and like you i i even have said like you can find people that are into that right like right. the, the he, problem is is that you don't want you want the people who are not into it so right it's about that, the non-consensual aspect yeah yeah right. for sure <clears throat> yeah definitely plays into like a parallel mm -hmm. with why we're we're bringing up this stuff yes um okay uh, yep, yep. <laughs> you want her hair pulled it's <laughs> fucking lies from these Hellish women. Fuck you, Dad. Hellish what women. Really does hurt. But I do know what it's like to have hair pulled, and it's not a big deal, which makes me think all the other stuff is, is a bunch of fucking lies. Okay. Well, you fucking okay. love Plus, getting raped. You fucking I mean, nobody, nobody love. Wait a minute, wait. You fucking love getting raped. That's what Ben's saying. Uh, about women in general, that they're all bullshitters. They're saying being getting their hair is bullshit. They love being raped. Wait a minute, what? Like raped? Yes, it's not that big of a deal for women to get raped. It's not that big of a deal. 
with the with the physical stuff with the ladies, do you ever feel like you're being obnoxious? Or do you feel like you're not reading the room? Or like, do you ever feel like? Well, I, I, okay, but I'm saying this is the room. She's saying <laughs> I don't think this is the room, and I'm saying, well, this is the room, and she's saying I don't. I think this is a different room, and I'm saying fuck you. Go do that room. I have no interest in being the bourgeois dad who's like making sure that we respect the boundaries of the little fucking princesses. Okay, I'm not doing that. Talk, the rest of you can talk now. I just want to see if that would make any they sense. Can, you, they can okay, suck hey, hey, my bit, dick bit, if they want to do that. Bit, Haven't I made it clear it's the home for wayward hosts? This is not like this is not like an like a, a, a bread, bed and breakfast for bourgeois but, 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 horrors. But you didn't make it. You didn't make it clear what was going to happen there. You didn't say you breathe, exactly. for instance. I'm going to yank your hair when you get over here. I'm going to try right. to make you drink out of a dog food bowl. I just said you're lucky that we're not going there because, you know, I, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> so it, it could have went there. <laughs> okay, but, 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 Well, at a certain but, stage but, in the but, process, but, yeah, that might but, be the right but, thing to do. Now, he told – he. All right. Um. So now uh, we're going to have the a argument. Clip. From Shamu's documentary with uh, grossly interviewing Ava. Mm -hmm. More information about how Ben treated Ava. Relayed a story on Telegram about how he wanted you to, to you and Grace, to pretend to be his girlfriends. Yeah. And but also, like the home for Wayward Hills, you know, it's going to be. Riza saying, uh, I'd be interested to hear what Grace thinks about the Ava situation now. He's both. And then. Oops. River Riza, I'm curious if uh, Grace has any thoughts on that. It'd be really hard for someone to say, like, okay, bitches, let's let's line it up. It's much easier with a 20 year old girl. I mean, you don't think Ghislaine Maxwell had a function? You, you don't is think it, it's a lot easier? To... You don't think Ghislaine Maxwell had a function? He said it's a lot easier with her. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. I think someone in here said uh Epstein abused uh children before Ghislaine, and I'm sure that's true, but Ghislaine was there for a reason. She helped lure these girls in 100% and yeah. helped the... He's not joking here. He's not fucking around. He's saying this is how it works. I was at, like, I was in the supermarket with them in this bourgeois town, the next town up. It's a rich town. And I asked them just, because uh, Grace said uh, there was a, a very attractive young woman, like, near us and she, Grace was like, that chick looked you up and down. And I said, that's because you girls are with me, right? Because I, it becomes like a kind of, you know, Trump kind of thing, right? Where you've got two young girls and they were like, no way. Cause they'll assume you're my, that, that we're your daughters. And I was like, not really. You girls are like in your twenties, you know, like, what would you be doing? So I was like, just for five fucking minutes, pretend like we're going on my yacht and we're just getting some supplies together for the yacht and you girls are like like uh, so excited and i just met you and you're super excited and talk talk to this hag of a fucking um uh you know checkout person about so again we've talked about this before but it's just fucking insane that he wanted uh grace and eva to pretend to be his girlfriends so the checkout lady would i guess perceive Ben mm -hmm. to be some kind of pimp daddy. I'm sure she wouldn't have given two fucks. She was just working at her shitty uh, grocery store job. She was probably just trying to get through the day. Mm -hmm. um, again, yeah. one of these girls is his daughter, and the other is a 20-year-old he just met that's friends with his daughter. It, right? Just Cash to me. show my point. And instead, Ava goes to the self-checkout, and Grace is like, I'm not doing that. And well, so Grace said, I'm not doing that. She, you know, Ava's like, fuck this. Grace is like, yeah, this is creep. This is whatever she felt. I don't know. Embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. I, assume, I assume Grace was very embarrassed and Ben was really upset. My point is, fuck yeah. you. Why can't you do that? What is your what is the fucking problem? Why, why do they have to do that? Like, what's the what's the whole? Well, I think that what's interesting is like in this case, we see what Ben wants Grace to be. And and, yeah. and and um you know she failed at that, but then when we look at the clip from that we started with, Grace is completely on Ben's side and regurgitating all Ben's talking points. And yeah. and you know Is that just for you? Well, I think she she good? has to um she has to prove herself anytime she actually does get caught feeling embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And so like uh, something that actually no just worries. came came to my head was like 
when he's talking about the checkout lady, mm-hmm. I remember Ava talking about it. She was like, they went out to the car and they talked about how ugly this lady was for like ever. No, no, and that like, was, I hate that. Was a diff- that what? was a lady what? at the <laughs> restaurant they ate at. Yeah, okay. that was a fat lady. But they, yeah. Anyway, up. I don't know. It's just like something where Grace was like, yeah, yeah, this lady is disgusting. disgusting and then like, yeah. it, it ended up freaking Ava out. Ava out. She's yeah, a he normal person, you know. No, I'm just saying like, like, I'm just saying like, I want you to start to understand how sexual the dynamics like actually work. What? Uh, what? So Listen to this part. Your daughters, daughters are not, not my daughters. Not, no, one's okay. my daughter. One's not. Okay. okay. I understand like whatever. Okay. But okay. She, she could, uh, it's not. He, okay. So <laughs> what? She could play my daughter or whatever and her friend who are excited to be with you. I'm just saying, show me sexual attention and watch how your daughter show your change. daughter. Ava said, I show me sexual attention and see life. how what happens. Oh, you took Ava down there? Well, yeah, because she told me to come in her room. And I was like, well, Rusty. I think it'd be better if me and my dad. Just- <laughs> what, babe? Oh, nothing. I was just going to say when he said, like, uh, show me sexual attention and like see where that goes. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, a little good, bit of space. Good. You're gone. So- good. Fuck you. He's mad at Grace. She's She walked into Ava's room. Mm hmm. All right. What? Well, she said that, like, you know, that I was like putting too much pressure on myself and that I would keep in mind. Look at this. Ava was actually kind of talking to Grace. And it seemed like in this moment, Grace actually was maybe listening to Ava a little bit. Was, like, yeah, you're overwhelmed. A you're a victim. And it's yeah. I need to work that out. Good. That's what you said. That you agree with her. No, I don't. So, Grace, it's that's, about, that's what you said uh, yesterday. I think it's you're a fucking loser. To be in the place that I'm in. <laughs> it's fine for me to be in the place that I'm right, in. Fine, what I'm doing fine. is getting stuck. I have nothing to say to you. Fuck both of you. Fuck off. I don't but give a shit what annoying. you're doing or why you're doing it. Just, I, I don't, I, like, it makes no sense. It's all to good. Me. What the fuck? Why didn't you. you back me when I was trying to, like, Grace, Grace, hey, like, this is what this is. Grace. Grace, why didn't you hold Ava's legs open for Ben? Why didn't you do that, Grace? <laughs> well, every time I asked you like to do something, you're like, oh my God, right? It's like you and her were like, oh my God, gross. It's like do why? What? No, 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 no. That's not true. When you asked us to say like that you live on a yacht or that you were gonna take us on a yacht, I was like, Yeah, that'd be funny. So Grace is saying she did agree to it. Ava just didn't want to. So. Didn't I? I was like, okay. I was like planning well, what to say. You went away. Why didn't you say like, come on, no, let's do it. I, I you take her you, side. Yes, you do. You said you you wanted her in the front seat with you. I said oh, I offered to be in the back Christ. seat. That's not what I'm talking about, Grace. But I was I'm not literally I was, talking about where you are in the car. But I was laughing back there, but the windows were down. I was very. I was trying to participate. I kept saying whatever. Things. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. This is a flash forward, but we wanted people to see this screenshot from uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. He will, don't worry, talking about Ben's neck or something. I hope he gets better and makes content with you. Uh, Grace says, with my tits and Ben's brain, we are sure to succeed. So Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty interesting statement. Um, All right. So... uh, do you want me to intro this, or do you have any? Do you want anything oh, you want to read? Um, where are we right now? Are we at future consequences? Is that what this is right before this? Um, I don't know how far we've gone or where I chose to see. put this. Listen to VC with Grace. Uh, roll clip. Yeah, we're we're yeah. I guess right after this is future consequences. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. We can play this first. Yeah. Okay, so this is just from yesterday. Uh, it's a little clip of me saying, you know, Grace, what about when the thing with uh, Joey happened and you abducted him? Was that your idea or was that Ben's idea? I feel like Ben is leading to a, to a, a bad place. Do you feel like he ever ta- takes you on a path that's like, could harm you? Like, I know I, we, I've talked enough about the Joey stuff, but like, that you could have, if maybe a cop had gotten upset and arrested you, you know, that would have been Ben kind of pushing you into doing that stuff. 
No, because mm-hmm. I wanted to do that, and I didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing anybody could arrest me for. Right, right. I, I mean, more just like if a cop, you know, whatever, was having a bad day. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like he he like he's, he had that timer. He's like, Grace has 80 hours or whatever it was to, to figure this shit out with her her siblings. I don't think you would have done the stuff personally with, with Joey if he hadn't have said that, but that's just me. I don't think... That wasn't related to... No? Okay. No, because the... <laughs> he ended the time before. <laughs> oh, okay. So there was... Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways, I... I mean, so what... I, I'm bad at, at asking questions, I think. I need to be more <laughs> direct. Because I, 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 I leave things so open-ended. I'm being critical of myself, but I think it's a valid... Uh, I was just trying to say, I, I think Ben talked you into this idea. Yeah. And I think the most important thing that Grace really says is, is no, this was my idea. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I, I don't agree with that. I, I, I don't think that she would have taken Joey. Well, what, what else is Gus Lane Maxwell's function? You know, is it, it's also to take credit for these things that you don't want to admit that mm-hmm. you actually did, you know, uh, she's the fall, I think in a lot of ways, and you know, mm-hmm. I wrote like, uh, Ben will make it easier on Grace when Grace does these things for Ben. So Grace is benefiting by this in some twisted way, and because of this, she cannot see what she that uh, what she does for Ben hurts others and therefore herself, ultimately, possibly mm-hmm. implicating her own future for Ben, mm-hmm. um, which would be extremely self destructive. Um, and that seems kind of inevitable, but yeah, I, I think um, uh, ultimately, when Grace said a cop will never arrest me, uh, I mean, first of all, we don't know how a cop's going to feel about her taking the kid. Uh, Grace, we could talk about this later. We talked about it before. Kind of does all of it in like a loophole fashion, mm-hmm. um, like. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I, I think in the end. Someone might get taken. She might do something, and she's the one that's going to suffer for it. And Ben will be the one who can say, "Oh, I had nothing to do with this." You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Um, I yeah. Sorry. sorry. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> My dog's barking. My dog's barking. Um. Uh, yeah. Do you have what's I next? I do. I have something to read really quick. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> This is about the future consequences. <laughs> um, when it comes to how Grace reacts in a celebratory fashion to what happened at the police station with Joey Courtney, uh, we see that Grace feels as though that there are no consequences for her as long as she's doing what Ben says. But eventually, Grace's actions will catch up to her, leading her to future possibilities involving undesirable consequences and the dream of your freedom and innocence will diminish with each devoted gesture towards ben in her reaction to what happened everything seems banal to grace this is a dangerous attitude that has been instilled and she doesn't see how this she's at the risk of harming others in her future Mm. Ben is purposely, in my opinion, implicating a future that involves independence for Grace. Mm -hmm. The deal is that Grace cannot leave or truly gain independence until she finds a replacement for herself, for her dad. This way, he has another instrument to act through. Grace admits to not being able to think uh, independently. You know, my dad is Mm -hmm. the brains, I'm the tits. Um, and <clears throat> to get more personal, yeah, I have to say that it has been crushing, uh, watching a parent purposely setting up limits that confine, distort, and even mutilate the growth and development of their own child. Those years that Grace lost were precious to me. I developed friendships in later high school, which shifted the trajectory of my social life, I maintained those friendships and through them met my now husband and traveled, um, enjoyed my newfound freedom as a young adult, um, leaving my home and high school life behind. I've grown to love Grace in my own complex way. 
in that I refuse to see her as anything other than a person who sadly missed out on all that and who knows what else. I see all the lost possibilities and opportunities in her life, and I suppose I naturally but naively doubt her being capable of what I'm afraid deep down I know that she may be. I wish I could actually get to her and warn her as many of you watching might, or at least I hope some of you might feel that way. It's complicated and complex because it seems to me that's the only way anyone can love or understand someone like Grace is to acknowledge that she would probably not be capable of any of this without Ben's false guidance. I feel I have a Cassandra complex about this all, like I'm trying to warn someone about an inevitable fate, which is only inevitable because of the denial and refusal to believe in the warning. I envision a very difficult future, one in which everything in Grace is exploited, all her talents, confidence, organization, all of it utilized to facilitate harm and abuse onto others for Ben. And at that point, none of these gifts will ever have surmounted to any um, to an independent life in which she benefits or grows as a result of using these gifts for her well-being instead of the well-being of Ben. There will be no understanding offered to Grace. And although she may have only been following Ben's orders the whole time, her actions will be judged independently. The complexities won't matter and no one will trust her. She herself will altogether forget any trace of the reality that she herself was and is a victim and will become calloused in cruelty and hatred as natural as can be. People will think this just must be what she was like the day she was born. But I see what had to happen first before she became capable of doing it all. Um, God forbid the worst possibilities. The day we all watch Grace take another step further, just too far, and come face to face with the shadow of her actions. There will be no way to separate Ben from Grace. And it'll be harder and harder to find the difference moving mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really, I mean, that's exactly how I feel. Do you want to watch some of these clips? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like some of this is the Joey stuff, but I, I'd like to honestly move to, with the, uh, mm -hmm. uh New stuff. the, here, I'm, I know this is muted, um, to go back in time. We're going to go back in time, Amelia, to one of the first videos we looked at. We looked at it multiple times, but we're going to look at a couple ones where, in our opinion, Ben or Grace did the bidding of Ben. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grace was the hand. So here is an old video that we've looked at multiple times of Grace coming downstairs to troll, attack, abuse her mother. And in our opinion, at the behest of Ben. We we know Grace pours water on her mother in the clip. Courtney's just trying to do her own thing. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Am I glitching or anything? Hmm? Like my, my uh screen went out for a second. Am I think I, for a second, I didn't see it, actually. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, she just poured water on Courtney. I left uh, very angry at your father. Not for the divorce proceedings. But he says that's what it is. And, um... Making fun of me. Uh, Courtney had been gone for months. I mean, I think that's the issue when we talk about the Thorpes in that there's so much context. There's so much history. I, I would love to do a timeline someday, but there's so much moving of houses, pe Courtney being forced out, kids living with her, or kids living with Ben and mixed together mm -hmm. um, that it's hard to kind of give everyone the context. I think most people understand it, but at this moment, uh, they tried to have a divorce proceeding. It, it failed. Courtney showed back up that night, and then there was just abuse uh, back to towards Courtney. And 
Uh, uh, from my understanding, Fido's well, alive. Well, we can review the text you sent today. <laughs> I'm sure you'll just review the one text that you find especially humorous. This is good, exactly started, what she so. does, by the way. This one. This is what you sent today. Well, you can read this. No, I'm busy. Okay, fine. All right. This is what you said. Wait, wait, wait. I can see clearly that I'm at a crossroads. Either I understand the proposal and do it joyfully, or I live my own life completely without contact. So you were suggesting today that you might live your life without ever contacting your family again. Is that correct? Um, I was suggesting that that. Well, you don't actually want to hear my explanation of that at the time, but. I mean, there's a lot of confusion here. For years and years, they would sit in a room with Courtney and the kids and say, look how your mom writes, a, uses her pen incorrectly. Look how she walks. She's the victim of gravity, whatever. You guys have seen that with Ben. And it built up so much that Courtney finally, with I assume the help of internet friends, I wasn't there for it, was able to leave for months. She lived in her car and other places. And Ben and Grace... You know, she had to leave her kids to get away with this from this abuse because Ben and Grace had the kids. And from my understanding in a VC, there were different times that C Courtney was told by Ben and Grace that she had to tell the kids she never wanted to see them again. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like this idea that at the time Courtney takes care of the, the, the children right now, the underage ones. But at the time, I think she was trying to figure out how can I escape from this abuse? And they were making it feel like her, making her, in my opinion, feel like it was one or the other. Either you leave and don't have the kids or tell, you know, you have to tell the kids you'll never see them again. I was mm -hmm. suggesting well, that why if you I don't, it to everybody now? if I don't live it, if I don't do this deal, then I assume that I won't have any contact with you because I've left you all in the dust and I'm a horrible person. So... That's how I meant it. Not like I wanted that, but that would be mm -hmm. the result of it. That would so be you're the saying result maybe of Maybe I'll never contact any of my children again. I felt like that was the consequence of me not. I felt like that was the consequence. See them. Of like me not like, seeing the way the the things the way I should see them. Right. That to to Courtney Ben was essentially saying that to her. Like if you want to leave, you're gonna have to leave your children. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you didn't you just walk out? No, I said that sounds good. No, you didn't. Well, you want to listen to the tape? Oh, you recorded everything again like a crazy? Yep, I did. Okay. Courtney started recording these conversations with Ben and Grace because they were they would say one thing and do another. Look how annoyed yeah. Grace gets, by the way, because Courtney's trying to say like your your Ben your dad. told me it would be okay if I went downstairs right. and watched Air Max or. Hey, we could listen. And to now the tape. Grace is basically yeah. making it seem like yeah. it's not okay that she's there. What, what am I saying? She is more upset. Frightening, more oh, I'm never going to contact. You said it in a public. You said it in a public text chat. One thing that I, I said. I met across one thing which you have also said. said. One thing We're which you also said. Look, here's how here's how it is. You're part of our <laughs> lives. Uh, they're like I don't I don't want it to be torture sessions. I don't have to do them. I am not going to bar you from from contact with us until it gets to that point. I'm not anywhere near that point. I want to watch TV. I, I I don't think like you know this this is important. You're part of our lives. <laughs> what I what I understood is once I have that line, you're welcome to do whatever with. Never. I've never barred you from anything. You can go spend money. Go get some booze. Get drunk. Feel it out. It, 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 you have have this as like a, mm. two people. I'm not Makes me so you. sad that you they would the just set up these kids. elaborate mm. traps for Courtney all the time. Because to... he's telling her, go get booze, go chill, go leave. And they've just been talking for hours. Mm -hmm. And then Courtney leaves, and then she gets trapped. Mm -hmm. Reintegrate. And however you do that. Also, doesn't it just sound like gobbledygook half the time? Oh, yeah. Your, your thing is like, either I'm going to spend the night tonight in my car in the snow in a Walmart parking lot, 
It's so hard to tell what he's saying. I have to. Look, Grace gets mad. She tried to grab the phone from her at first, and then she goes and grabs a, Are we a cup of water. It's almost over. Are you not looking at the camera? Are you not going to look at the camera? I don't feel like it right now. Listen, oh. Do you want to get drunk? Great. You want to go online? Uh huh. Go on Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downstairs. He literally said, "Do you want to go down yeah. there?" This is stuff he does with Grace too. Like, Grace, you're so wound up. Why don't you go, go on Discord or go chill out and you know, go drink even. Look how Grace drinks now. Um, yeah. Similar things. Uh, can we get to the point? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just hang on. Go sit over there and watch the TV. Oh, she just splashed her, oh, look, so she just splashed her with more water because Courtney proved that Ben did tell her to go downstairs. Mm. And, you know, we all know when Grace and Ben don't like it when you prove them wrong. Um, I, I even said in a VC to Grace yesterday, hey, what happens when you and Ben run out of money? And she said, I'll kill you and take uh, your money with Amelia or something like that. But whatever, that's funny. But like, yeah. And, uh, you know... <laughs> Go on Discord, maybe watch Hornaxer. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. <laughs> Okay, so I just said it. Your father okay. suggested it, and I said yes. Okay, I don't really care what my father thinks. I'm not okay with that. She's not okay with her watching TV and chilling out. Well, if you're not okay with it, then he's okay with it. He said he was okay with it, so you have a problem with him, not me. No, I have a problem with you. All right, so do you want me here or not? I want you to get some resolution. Do you want me here or not? I don't care. Your father wants me here, so then it goes back to you and him. He said he doesn't care whether you're here or not. Okay. It seemed like he said stay here. You could stay here. I have no problem with that. Okay, does he care or not? I don't I don't speak for him. I don't think he really cares. Okay, well then I'm just gonna go. You're just gonna go? Yeah. Why? Because you don't like it being filmed, how stupid you are? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Why can't you just get some resolution? You're just gonna go away. I don't believe, and I know people disagree with me in this kind of little community. I don't believe Grace would have done any of these things if Ben hadn't gotten her to be his right arm or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think Grace would have been a normal teenager with friends because she did have them in high school. And yeah. I think she would have lived a relatively normal life. And this is where she, what she became. Mm hmm you she sacrificed all that for no. this. Said, I'll yeah. do it. I said no, you're being hostile, and it just goes round. And it's round. not resolution to go downstairs and clean something no, no, in an alienated this, way said, on and watch a streamer. I said, yep, yeah, I'll do that. Clean something in an alienated way. The the meme now, mm -hmm. the insane because Courtney's trying to clean the house. It's it's in an alienated way. Uh, Seraphim Goose asked, go "When me. when was this from?" The um this is on courtney's channel still I, I think it's from uh 2022 i think yeah or or early no maybe uh early 2023 but yeah it's on courtney's channel early 2023 i believe parents and give my and put my hostility yeah but that's not a real resolution and then that's how it goes not real it's you not just real. said it's it right like you just real. it's not real you gotta say it a different way you gotta say it in a different way oh are you triggered are you gonna go run away cry you gonna go run away and be a philosopher in your car bye mommy i thought you cared so much about your kids bye okay let's um right let's <laughs> let's show a couple a little more this is sadly Later in the night, Bye. and she physically she physically abuses Courtney and grabs her neck. 
retard. You mean her hair. Right. Sorry, her hair. You know right. better yeah, than no that. Worries. I just know they'll use it against us. You're like, oh, she grabbed her neck. I didn't know Joe was No, I just grabbed yes, her hair. Did. No, I didn't. And you didn't know. No, that's a lie. Okay. That is a damn lie. You didn't know Joey was right there behind you. No, I can't see him. Look, look at the <gasps> screen. Turn your head around. He's right there. So turn it around. Look at that. Check that out. Very. OK, so uh, the next the next uh, clip we're going to do where I really think another example of Grace doing the bidding of Ben is this uh shamu has this up on his channel but this was a live stream sorry my dog's barking that courtney did Luna, come here. sorry guys okay this is a live stream that courtney did uh after she'd been gone from the house for a couple months because she had to escape the abuse in my opinion and um uh randomly ben had said do you want to pick up joey and take him to a basketball game and courtney was excited to do this she wanted to see her son she'd been gone out of necessity and ben said the only way to do it is it had to be streamed there was like this whole weird ben thorpe thing the only way courtney could take joey to the game as if she streamed it with ben like on the phone with him but anyway courtney ends up uh streaming this ben gets very mad because she's able to film him and what he ends up doing is he ends up saying oh never mind you showed up courtney but you can't drive joey to the game because there was some kind of um uh a dent in the front of her car it was like not a big deal it wasn't about the way the car was driving um and uh what ends up happening is grace and ben end up calling the police on Courtney to 5150 her to try to get her put into like a mental hospital or something. It makes no sense. And it was clear they were trying to trap Courtney by saying, hey, you haven't seen your kids in a while. You know, come pick up Joey. So we're about to see this whole thing. Well, it's edited, so don't worry. It's not the whole thing. But Shamu was able to actually uh, save this footage when it happened because it was deleted right afterwards. Nice. So this is the first time I didn't do it on StreamYard. Um, so just be taking Joey to a basketball game. And I can't really text. So can you see that? Wait, there's a ton of like little gnats still there. Just knock. I can't text. Watch Ben. He's gonna. And we'll see what happens. Loving people. Can't see the chats. Oh, Let's see live chat. Okay, I can turn it around again. Notice uh, Courtney's um, eyeglasses are broken because allegedly Ben. Ben and Grace argue about this, whether it was a hit or a punch, but I think Ben and Grace even allegedly admit that they hit Courtney, Ben hit Courtney, and caused her glasses to break. The I think the argument's over whether it was a hit or a punch. So, yeah, um, this, wait, hold on a second. This is the car that needs to get fixed. It, uh, the, uh, the starter broke. And once again, I'm gonna knock on the door because he has to be there at six. And um, it's like 5.50, like on YouTube or something. So Ben kind of creaks his head out and he's shocked that Courtney's already streaming because he didn't realize she was able to, um, that she had data, a data plan or something. And uh, he's not oh, happy. Well, because I just didn't want to come in. I'm sorry. I just like because I I was late and I got caught in traffic and then I just got here. But I am streaming. Like right. She liked the style of broken glasses, but did yeah, she? Yeah, like, I think so. Them? She. 
she liked the style of broken glasses, but did Courtney like the way that she got the broken glasses? Is the question. I don't think so. I also don't think she has a ton of money to just go. Well, out why don't I just do this? Like, why don't I just? She kind of had to wear. Get them. Joey. Drop him off. That's not the agreement. Don't you understand? You're, you're acting crazy. Why is she acting crazy? Because she wants to take Joey to the uh, basketball game. Because Ben asked her to. I don't know how to get. Yeah, I can't get a. I tried to um, get on, but I was just coming on as a guest to my own channel. So I just went to YouTube Studio and just decided I was, to. I wasn't there. You've been here longer. Though. Okay, well, I'm how about curious. this? I mean, you, you, Provi, you've been here much longer. I know we've never talked, but I, I thought your other comment was funny. What does Riza say? She did like the broken glasses. She said it was convenient for laying on her side in bed and looking at her phone. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> the only thing I can think of doing would be to like drive him and then like try to like spend some time. I know, but I couldn't get on my channel any other way. I couldn't. I didn't have that much time. It takes sometimes it gets a little weird. Look, if you just give me some time to drive Joey, then I can, like, get in the car, get to Wi-Fi. I know. But you guys don't get it. He's arguing with her because she didn't join StreamYard. She only joined YouTube Live, which I guess it's not like StreamYard. You can't just join different um, streams. So Ben's upset because the deal was the only way you can take Joey is if you are live with me while you take him to the game so that's not so, happening yeah so he knew that she didn't have like a plan so she couldn't meet she, he was surprised that he even she even did this right 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 he so this is it was yeah. just like setting up a bunch of impossible demands right then right like just right. being like oh you can only do this if you do that which he already knew she wouldn't be able to or something and then yeah. he they finally result re, re uh functioning they, they to the car thing because that was right that now he's gonna say you can't even go anyway because your <laughs> car has this um what's the word for it uh like uh just damage that's just like the way it looks I'm superficial an idiot. yeah superficial damage. out here yeah. cosmetic, cosmetic damage. i don't know yeah. you can try to set it up on my channel all right well i gotta call please uh shamu says grace said she flirted with the police to try and help her mm -hmm. to get, get the police to arrest courtney i guess jesus Okay. Well, you're not functioning cognitively? I'm just not functioning technologically. Oh, sorry. Okay. Like, honestly, too. Mm. All right. Okay. That's, that's, that makes sense. That's yeah, what it's fine. It's fine. I'm just having a hard time with the technology. No, I just think it's... Um, Grace was already gone at the police station. I just think it gets like I get like I get in a place with the streaming, and Damn. that's so cold. I can't like I, can't, I yeah. So they were already planning to have Courtney fifty one fifty to arrested. Grace was already at the police station. <laughs> um, it's insane. Yeah. Thank you for that context because we weren't there, Shema. Okay, fine. If you think I can't do that, then you can take my car and I'll keep streaming and I'll walk around streaming and you can take the car and then come back. I think it's time to make some resolution here. It's not making any sense. Um, I'd really like to get Joey to that basketball game, whichever way we can do it. So, okay. so if I can drive, then you can drive. That car, I can see. Um, yeah, you can call an Uber, like I said, we can, oh we can God. do that. Uber is not gonna work. Oh. So she even says, like, let's just call an Uber. Like, well, I'll pay for it. And Joey even says an Uber is not going to work, which I don't know why that makes sense. That, well, he's a little kid anyway. I don't feel, why don't we show with this car? I've never seen you. This is a safe car to drive? Yes, it's okay. It's. I mean, I'd say, you know, 
people that don't have a lot of money, sometimes your car gets cosmetically damaged. It's happened to me before back in the day. And you drive it because you you gotta. This is this doesn't look like anything that's gonna, you know, cause a big wreck. So that's our dog. Thank you, Amelia. Fine. Yes, it's what, fine. What is the other problem with this car? It overheats. It's leaking oil. So how is it a safe car? Because it gets you from point A to point B. The brakes work, you know, and if you drive it for short, we already talked about this like before and you said, okay, the car is fine. You want me to get in this car and take leaving. So he's, she's even saying we already talked. Okay. All right. So what I'm saying, Ben, I'm saying like, let's just, can we call Joey an Uber or what? I mean, I'll go with him and the Uber. No, you're not coming. Or you can go with him. Ben, there's a basketball game going on. He wanted to go to it. You have to bring it to, you got to get him to it somehow. Like it's Uber or it's me in that car. It's one or the other, but it's not Joey doesn't go. We talked about this beforehand. And right, right now we're just seeing Ben, but what we realize what, the good background Shamu gave is that Grace is already in this plan, to, you know, being Ben's partner in crime at the police station to get Courtney arrested for no reason. Uh, babe, your uh, mic's off. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think this, this would have happened unless it was like both of them acting together, obviously, because, you know. You said, okay. You said, yes, I could take him in this car. You said, yeah. I never saw. I never saw that the car. I, you never told me the car was in an accident. He barely hit anything. It's just superficial. Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite. But you nice. To a mechanic, and you said this car is not worth repairing. Is that right? I told you that already before I came here. I already told you that. She's got to stop making some sense. Yeah. Are we crazy? Are no, we're not crazy. The car works well enough. It's a 10 minute trip. I can get him there. It's no problem. You shouldn't be driving a car like that. <laughs> I told but you everything that you needed to know about the car before I even came here and you said it's fine. Sorry. And I took like, I, I took like, I had no idea it, was it doesn't matter. It wasn't an accident that hit the engine or anything. It's just superficial. But you, you don't think this would pass the not I think Provo's being all right. Ben. I already guys. told you that we weeks ago. We're new. We're newbies. He he doesn't know us that well. He's I know he's been around forever. <laughs> Wouldn't pass inspection. I want to get Joey. I want you to. If you're saying I can't drive this car with Joey in it, I want you to call an or I can call an Uber. Got it. If you're saying you think it's fine, then I'll take him. Well, Grace is going to be coming back. So wait for Grace. I, 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 this goes on for a while. Uh, ben sits and smokes. Um. This is so stupid. No. This is so stupid. I can't believe it. She's finding out they're calling I the cops. I no. can believe it, but I can't believe it. Yeah, she's finding out they've called the cops on her. And what are they going to do? And what, what did she say? What was the situation that she said that she was frustrated with? Poor Courtney. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know why the police were called. I call the police and I show up and I didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. Except play ball with Joey, roll a cup of cigarettes, and uh... I mean, Wait. she's finding out they're calling the cops on her. And... Yeah, do we right. know what Grace told them or what? Like, did she say my mom um, is insane or like I, I think we're gonna you'll hear the cop but i think it was like a mix of they they were doing this whole thing someone can correct us that saying that she was abandoning her children but of course it's ridiculous because ben was there taking care of the kids and she was you know leaving because of in her opinion and, and i i agree with this abuse yeah the, it's mentally I mean, and physically not... needed to get away and yeah Wait, their sure complaint people... was uh She's abandoning her kids, but now she's trying to come back to take him, like, to, to a game, a right? Mom. It doesn't make yeah, any it's sense. Crazy. But I think also, I think there was this idea that she, they wanted her, I think, to go to a mental hospital or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally Someone can, can uh, correct us. Go get Fido.
I can't hear you. All right, well, I guess I have to talk to the police about what I don't know. Seems like a bad look for the neighborhood. Our neighbors are gonna probably be, well, their neighbors are gonna be like, why are the police here all the time? Okay, I won't. Alex might be a cop. He's not, he's an office manager. Yeah, I do. Okay, wait, here's here's where Grace shows up. So Grace has back from the police station. Uh, the upside is that they're pretty nice. Did you call the cops? Yes. I went to the station. You hear that? She says, I went to the station. You went to the station or you called the cops? Uh, yeah, I do. They're right, dude. So she's saying you are driving an unsafe vehicle and because you haven't taken care of your children in six weeks? She didn't leave them with, like, I don't know, some random 17-year-old neighbor or, you know, or left them with nobody. She left and her fa the father's there. I mean, that's... I know she didn't want to probably do that, but she had to. But like, that's I think that's completely legal. I think it need, we need a third party. We need a third party. Why? Jeez, this is this so manipulation. Dishonest. Yeah, it's so it's dishonest. Bullshit. Look at her face. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't even believe it. This. No, Look, she's she kind of smiling. Any of this. No, she was like, oh, we need a third party. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, look, she's, she's almost yeah, laughing. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Grace. I like, I like that Courtney was like, actually, this is so fucking insane. I yeah. can't help but to just laugh at you. Look at you. You're my daughter. Like, this is so fucked up. <gasps> oh, man. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say. You guys... I will say it feels a little bit like a setup, Grace. Yeah. A little bit like a setup. She's Felt laughing because like she's like, wow. Wow. I can't believe you. I wouldn't either. I'd just be like, uh, I mean, I guess I should have known. But right. how because can I believe this? Thing. You know, it's just unreal. Yeah. This was, by the way, this is like incredibly edited down. Uh, actually, I think when I post the video, I'll link Shamu's full post of this. It's like yeah. an hour and a half long, so you can watch the whole thing if you'd like. Um, but like people were warning Courtney, I think, in the chat, like this is a setup. Mm. And she was really like, no, she really yeah. wanted to believe no, it wanted, was OK, yeah. that it was just going to go. All right. I'm not going to lie to you <laughs> a little bit. Is it? I was just going to take Joey to a basketball game and stream it, but. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, that wasn't known to them before then. So they were mad was, that someone was being nice. I don't even know the full story and giving uh, Courtney access to an apartment. So she wasn't mm -hmm. homeless because they wanted to help her clearly. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what? If a woman has to let's just be fucking honest. In our opinion, alleged if a woman has to escape an abusive household, physically, mentally, whatever she has to do it for herself and then guess what now she's taking care of her kids mm -hmm. even though it's not the most you know ben and grace don't help uh financially or ben specifically grace shouldn't yeah having jobs or for losers right i told you that i told you that oh my god stop it you're sitting in he's drunk this in my when she says stop i mean i i agree i think this is like an affect like i said that is in benefit for ben right, right? But, you know like we, she so just we, puts it on yeah yes and so when we showed all these really extreme examples of kidnappers killers but then you know here's the the kind of less extreme example but it's still insane me and my dad uh tricked my mom 
so that a cop would come try to arrest her over the fact that her car is slightly, you know, cosmetically damaged or that she ran away from, uh, for reasons of abuse, you know, mm -hmm. like that's insane. That's crazy. If we're going to use the word crazy and grace doing her father's bidding, I don't think she would do this otherwise, but the fact that she's doing it is fucked up and it's yeah. awful. And I just wish it would stop it. I stop that. That is ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not going to cry because mom did a VC. No, we're not crying because I did that. No. We called them because she did a VC. That's what it sounds like, greatest thing, but I know it's not. Uh, I don't know. Depends on the person. But the cops are not the third party. If you wanted to do that, you would call like DCYF or something and set up a meeting. Look how the style so of take of the car. not looking directly at, at Courtney. Do you notice that mm -hmm. too? Yes. So like, you know, like imitating of Ben. Not looking at her. Yeah, Ben and Grace were acting similar in this one. Yeah. You're doing. Yeah. Or I can't drive it. I mean, they'll probably say like, I don't know what they'll say, but... Now I have no car. Well done, yeah, she, Courtney. I don't think they made her uh, driveway without a car, but I can see why she'd be worried about that. Mm -hmm. Smart. <clears throat> All right. Well, you can go back in. It's fine. It's fine. I'll wait. I'll, you can come out when they come. Oh, they did make they her, walk did away make her walk. The Thank car. you, Shamu. Wow, I Man. had no idea. Because it ends with the the cops just kind of talking to her. That's fucking insane. Yeah, it's cruel. Man, fuck the cops. Well, Ben and Grace got to 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 torture their mom, so she didn't have a car. Hope, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shamu. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I wouldn't. I was be like, I'll just take Joey to a basketball game. Fine. If we need to be streaming while we do it, yeah, no problem. We can do that. <clears throat> I'm so stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm so stupid. Sad. All right. Okay. Well, she's realizing, like, oh, look, they did it again. I keep coming back. I keep thinking that they're not going to fuck with me. They're not going to hurt me. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they did. People have said I'm stupid, so there you go. Did you tell me he was going to call the cops again, NoFab? I don't know. I just couldn't see any way that would happen. Like, I was like, okay, I'll be on stream, you know, like, won't do anything. But I never really thought of the, uh, Never thought of the car angle. How Never could you? Thought yeah, of look the car at her angle. trying to be like, man, I didn't think of that ahead of time. I should have. Like, it just yeah. goes to show how much somebody has to anticipate every move yes. that they're making. You know. Yeah. And I mean, I even think Grace does that to huge. They use Joey as a pawn. Sorry, I was gonna say yes. They oh did no, use Joey as a pawn. it was so cruel. I agree with that. Yeah, it is very cruel. It's terrible to do to joey it's terrible to do to courtney <laughs> i don't know good one mm -hmm. here's ben yeah it's easy to get that reaction from an 11 year old Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's Joe? I don't know. Where's Grace? Did you see her? Yeah, she came out and told me so what. Okay. okay. So you feel like you've been tricked? Yes, I do. I do feel like I've been tricked. 
I'm not being paranoid, no. So, why are you driving a car that's not fit to drive? What's the chances? Like, so sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. It's like, you. oh, you feel like you've been tricked? Yes, she's literally been tricked. Yes, she's been tricked. Yeah. I was going to say, what are the chances that Ben would just be in bed if, if this was one happening? Yeah, like, yeah. He totally... Yeah, he got, he's just up to, he summons the energy only for a spite ever, yeah, you know? Yeah. Because, because it's the car I have, it's the only car I have, so that's why I'm driving. But you know I don't have any money yet. You don't have no uh, like, access he's to like, you're lying about you not having no money. You live in an apartment now. You're just yeah. lying. You're living in a fantasy world. You have to stop. You have to stop. No one wants to go this route, but you have to stop. You shouldn't. You, you, the YouTube thing is something, maybe it's too much for you, or maybe you can find a way through it, but I don't really... I don't think you're in a healthy place. I haven't really been streaming. This was your idea to stream this. Well, I... This is just more like bullshitting. Also, uh, King of Leo said some comment that I did not mean to bring up on stage. Just as a heads up. What was it? Uh, ben should have upgraded to a younger woman. Oh, yeah. I did not mean to bring that on stage. I meant to bring up and I did this comment. This is heads up. This is the kind mm -hmm. of brain I have. I did not bring, <laughs> to bring up that comment. Anyway. I was trying to make it so that Joe can get in a car, but you're not in a position to be a custodian of a child mentally. I think I am. I said I was, but you said I wasn't. I mean, this car is not fit for transportation. If an Uber showed up in that condition, would you put your kid in it? It's because now it's a legal thing. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to see the, the, the end of this video. The cop talks to, to Courtney. How are we doing? Okay. What's going on? Um, I was supposed to come here to pick up my son to go to a basketball game. Okay. And um, then nothing happened. Right. Like the dog ran away. I went to um, get him and Joey went fishing Excuse and I talked to Ben. Sure. Can you just run in there? Can you get on one ball so we won't be Sorry. So, okay. you, so you, the way I understand it, not to cut you off, you haven't been living here. That's right. All right. But you're still married legally. Yes. Okay. So, what's going on overall with everything? Um, overall, like just eleven. I left. Um, and just needed some time to kind of get away and you know try to figure some stuff out and. I'm so sad. She can't, just say, like, to... she can't just say. She can't just say. Women have a right. Men too. If you're being abused mentally or physically, have a right to get away. If if there were, if she was a single parent, she will be totally different because mm -hmm. there wouldn't be a partner doing that. Keep in contact with him and um, had a divorce. I dismissed him. I know. Divorce. It's um, very true. I'm always but, uh, astounded by Courtney. Know, like, Honestly, he wants to talk to me about stuff that we've been over a lot. She stuck um, through all this I, and I don't know, mm -hmm. wrote, contained some sanity. I'm proud of her for that. Don't really want to like, so I try to, I just try to like steer the conversation to like, you know, can I see the kids? What can we do about that? No, sorry. So, so that's just basically what's happening. So, um, <laughs> Really, so really the only reason I'm here, they, obviously you guys have your things going on, and I'm not going to cry. Um, the reason I'm here is because, from what I understand, you haven't been living here for, you've kind of been on and off living here, is that? I haven't been here for like six weeks. Uh, why is that? Five just, weeks? Why is that? Just know. out of curiosity. Just because, like I said, I needed some time just to get away, mm. you know, and okay. com hopefully calm things down and everything. Okay. Um, so, your family's kind of worried about you. Um, yeah. I hate this part. <laughs> because obviously, 
there's what four kids in the house is it you have four four kids in there um yeah, well yeah i mean like two of them are someplace else but like they go back and forth yeah. okay um, so basically what they're worried about is it seems like you kind of like your, your oldest daughter feels like she's kind of taken over like the mother oh my yes. god she kind of doesn't really think it's fair oh my god <laughs> so i think this is the first time i really heard it like they want to make sure that mm -hmm. number one you're okay like mentally yeah like you're nothing's like nothing's bothering you that you know you don't want to tell them you don't want to tell us no i mean it's it's just been a complicated situation for many many years and i know grace doesn't want to take over the mother role but there's not much I she won't Throw Ben under the bus even now. Do you guys hear this? Yeah. He wouldn't even Star throw Ben under the bus yet. I, can, you know, I, I know. The house just because it just wasn't also, what the way. fuck? It's um, no thing. For anyone that, sorry to interrupt, but <laughs> anyone who didn't hear, the the cop is basically saying, your family's worried about you. You left for the last six weeks. Uh, Grace doesn't want to be in a mother role, even though the father's oh my there. God. It doesn't fucking matter. That killed me. Why would that matter? Like, <laughs> yeah. Why would the cop even ask? And she, yeah, yeah. she, Courtney won't say I'm being abused and therefore I'm leaving to take a break I because I don't know how to deal with this. She won't throw him under the bus. So she's just saying it's like I want to calm things down. Right. And you know, we're working with ben. husband specifically. Yeah, with ben, yeah. Okay. Everything with the kids is fine. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, again, like I said, is you're not feeling suicidal. You're not feeling no. homicidal. No. He said, you're not feeling suicidal. You're not feeling homicidal. If she had said yes to that, they could have 5150 or put her in a mental hospital. That's, I kind of already explained to them. Like, I'll come talk to them. It's, it's kind of one of those gray areas where you also... I don't understand that because it's like, you know, as far as Courtney goes, she's never said anything like as extreme as Ben has in terms of like... You know, Ben's literally said, I feel homicidal rage. I yeah, feel homicidal yeah. this, like, mm -hmm. and yeah, homicidal that. Like, it's crazy to, in the real sense of somebody else being like, you actually do feel that way, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you do have homicidal <laughs> fantasies. You should admit go to that hospital. to the police. God, yeah. go, come, go admit yourself, please. Go to mm -hmm. a hospital. Go say, oh, my God, please take me, you know? Right. It's like abandoning. Yeah, I don't think not. that is. I don't think that fits. I don't. Why not? Just out of curiosity. Um, because I, well, because I think that that law is. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but like, right. I don't think that law is. The spirit of that law is not for this situation. Okay. I didn't leave them like without any parent, and I've been like I've been in communication and trying to talk to Ben and work this stuff out. So it's not like I just left. And like just said, like I'm just out of here. You know what I mean? Right. So I mean, obviously you came back. Um, where have you been staying? Just I'm not gonna tell you. I'm sorry. I have an. I'm staying in an apartment. You have a, your own apartment. Yeah. Right. How often do you come come back? This is the first time. In the last like four or five weeks. Yeah. And he invited me here. Yeah. I mean, uh, like. We talked briefly. I've been here a couple times for different things. He invited me here is really great. Stuff. Like that's so specific, you know. Yeah, ben he invited actually me. did. He was like, "Come over." Well, and it seems like maybe I don't know if people could like Shamu or Aunt Sponge, whoever. Like, were they? Was he inviting them there to ask questions about? You know, could they get Courtney arrested on X, Y, or Z? I wonder if Ben was just trying to learn about the law or what he was going on. Situation. So yeah. it kind of helps that I have little background on this but um he's basically like I, I think more so your daughters are just worried about your mentally and they just want to make sure that you're i'm sure grace was really fuck. worried about courtney mentally yeah, yeah fuck grace okay. yeah she Talking didn't you, it doesn't seem she wasn't she didn't care at all this is In all a lie it was all a manipulation i mean Going we're being ahead. harsh we're saying fuck grace but I think in this situation, it's really shitty. It's it's it, like anybody, if anybody told me they did this to their mother, I would be like, dude, fuck that. That's awful. You know, it is awful. Yeah. Seems more like it's a marriage issue. Yes, it's a marriage issue. Your kids, but at the end of the day, the kids are still your kids. You know? I know. So they have to, uh, I don't think race feels mm. too you know, good about this entire situation. She doesn't, but that's the whole thing. He said, like, 
come here, you know, Joey needs a ride. So like, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll come. I'll come give him a ride. He hasn't asked me to give him a ride or anything. You know, well, the so other I was, issue, I mean, they, they were concerned about your car as well, the safety of your car. It's fine. It's, it's just active, crappy. it's registered. Yeah. I mean, looking at it, it's, did you get in an accident or was it like that when you bought it? It's, well, my son was driving it. He got in an accident. <laughs> Um, it wasn't even her the fault. Winter, and then they're like acting like she's too crazy I wish she to had drive. Just, part of me just said like, oh, I, when I bought the car, it was like that. Part of me just wish she said that. And other than that, like. Well, I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it tends to overheat, but I got the thermostat checked. Got that fixed. That was like a lot of money, and you know the whatever the guy said. Like you can keep driving it, but like it's gonna break down eventually. Yeah, just I, mean, I just want to make sure there's nothing just for your safety sure, too. Like sure. there's nothing, no mechanic. But oh my god, this cop! It is Fuck, it's dude. cosmetic. The lights work and everything. So, based on my conversation with you, I have no reason to force you to go to the hospital. Like, they wanted her to get forced to, to go to the hospital. You hear that? Based on my conversation, I have no reason to force you to go to the hospital. I have no reason to do that. Okay. The second issue is your car, that they were concerned was unsafe to drive. Mm -hmm. I also have no reason to do anything about it. There you go. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Good, right? mm -hmm. That's the only thing I got to double This is a waste of police's yeah. time. Mm -hmm. uh, Grace. I'm going to have my dispatchers run it just to confirm. If, sure. if your license is active, is. there's no reason I can basically tell you not to go anywhere. Okay. So just give me one second. Okay. 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 Hey, I just got here. What was your name? Courtney. Courtney. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm uh, Andrew. What is it? Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, I just from listening on in a little bit, you know, there's someone that you guys need to talk to. You know there's resources out there, right? Yeah, like I I, I think he's saying therapy to Ben today. Um if you're I being abused, said, like, you know. Oh, you can talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's a government agent like DC way off. I don't know if they can help with like. It's sad because she's like, I can't, kind of I can't get him to go to like, therapy. Like, he won't go. Them, but, like, They're like talking about her. Talk to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Should go and talk about how you know. That's what they're saying. Like, you should go and talk about what's going on in a serious sense. Wow. Like, if you need to vent about something, you know, call a therapist, something yeah, like that. I you have know, a therapist. Oh, okay. yeah, God. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So your, your license is suspended. <gasps> <laughs> so, okay. So uh, they were correct. What? She wasn't allowed to drive the car. So that was where that went and it ended there. Evil, though. So John had to, to pick her up. So they won on that front. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, we're kind of we're kind of Wait, done. Will you pull up Shamu's? Uh, oh yeah. Comment really quick. Um, here, uh, the rest wasn't able to be downloaded before they deleted it. Grace tried to get her on the car issues and mental well-being. When Courtney told them she was fine, they checked the car and made her walk. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fucked up. Thank you. For Thank that. you. Shamu saved this video as it was being deleted by Grace and Ben. Um, he's. He's a little hero for that and for all the other shit mm -hmm. he's done. Um, no, she could, he, she would have gone for the sleep. Or a big hero, sorry. He's mm -hmm. at the bottom of the drain. <laughs> wait, should I rewind it? Okay, so we're kind of, okay. Yeah, we, we can stop here. You wait, know? Wait, no, I just want to say this because there's 50 people in the chat. I just want to say, uh -huh. like, um, the, our kind of idea of Grace being the hand for her father. There's all these examples of it. There's more examples of it. Like her going, if you guys want to watch the old stream we did where Grace went in and uh, recorded her mother and, uh, you know, just showing up at 6 a.m. and causing chaos for her, you know, to play it for everyone. She does these things because her father, I believe, gets her to do it because of how fucked up the relationship is. Mm -hmm. And we showed fucked up extreme examples. But I'm afraid that things could get to that level. Or maybe they won't get to that level. But I want I I think the best way for Grace to, to, to feel sane and to have a chance at life is to leave Ben. Um mm -hmm. we could I mean if we wanted we could play the end 
do or we could do this next week. What do you think? Uh, I think we I should, don't care, we, but it's up to you. I don't mind. Um, there's a lot to go over. <laughs> I think but, uh, right. I th I think we're good. Like I, I don't know what. We'll be you guys back. Wanna, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or here. <laughs> you guys want to see more? Like these are some clips from the last two days. Uh, we'll play a little more. Uh, this is Grace and Ben streaming. Uh, here. For I married consider to for like my relationship. Years? I consider my relationship with my wife to be one of a hundred percent trust. But I told her, "You get that paternity test, or I'm out the door." They're talking about Andrew Wilson. Wait, doesn't what sound if, like hundred percent trust. What if you're not my daughter? <laughs> Could that? Be? I I think I. It's um. Awesome. That'd be funny, right? It's like, oh. I don't think that's possible because we're too similar. Yeah, I would say we're very similar. That's why you're pretty because I'm pretty. <laughs> mother's buggers. No. <laughs> She's no. Tim's daughter. And you that think she would have pulled? She would have pulled like how? She would have pulled a really good looking guy, so that she gets like a good enough look, like, like a beautiful daughter. No, she gets. She would have gone for the sleaze at the bottom of the drain. But when she would she have done it? Maybe I'm I mean, not, I guess you never know. Maybe, I, I thought maybe I knew I'm her, the dishwasher's like, kid. I could be the dishwasher's kid. Yeah, you should go to that restaurant and see what the dishwasher <laughs> looks like. <laughs> I'll do that uh in Mardi Gras. You do look kind of Chinese. And like you have wide apart eyes. Hello. <laughs> I know Top America. <laughs> Would you get married? Would you would you want to get married to me? <laughs> yeah. You would? Yeah. Gross, dude. Well, that would be just to troll every forever. Just to troll everyone. Forever. Just to content. troll everyone. For content. It's, it's just content. Epic troll dude. <laughs> <laughs> we know what their trolls are like. I mean, I know this is like again a provocation, a joke, but it's a pretty weird fucking joke. You know what? Let's do that as an well, article. Uh, what I have to say is it doesn't help. With when Grin Grace like pouts and says, "Oh, nobody will like, nobody sympathizes with me. I need a friend. Like, uh, mm -hmm. why does everybody think that this is true? Or nobody actually thinks this is true. It's like, well, yeah, you, you, you say shit like this. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. People yeah. aren't gonna know they're what gonna, to do they're with gonna it, think what know? they're gonna think, right? Yeah, so yeah, like, for you sure. Get, and then we're like getting married." That would be on a Snapchat story. I realized my dad isn't my dad. And now we're getting married. I wonder if you read that thing. <laughs> this time a real marriage. Because there was news mom. recently mom. about um, a man who married his actual daughter who was adopted and then they met and then he killed her and the baby and himself, that kind of thing. Like that was like news recently. I just mm -hmm. wonder. Like, I don't know if that's. Are they... I think Ben just thinks of this shit all the time. Yeah, right. And maybe all those kids are your kids, your siblings. Hey, oh, this part. No, they're so dumb. They're my. They don't kids. even know how biology works. You're their. Bitch. I'm not their related to them. Mother. You're not related to them. You can have sex with them. <laughs> more provocations, more. You know. Yeah, but I guess that true. would be true. Interesting if I wasn't... arc. No, no, no. Because I would still be mom's daughter, and then they would oh, be yeah. half siblings. <laughs> No, but what if what Damn if it. you're not, what if you're neither of our daughters and she's just scummy enough that she's like our actual kid? She just like left there and did a switcheroo. In what life. like she, this one? Why is Ben fantasizing about this? Is like it's way better looking. Uh, yeah. I got to keep this guy. And not only am I going to baby trap him, I'm going to switcheroo baby trap him so that he thinks he made a better. That's next part baby. is <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense though because why would she pick the baby with the heart condition? It's accurate. Maybe you were on the kind of like on the discount rack, and they're like, <laughs> oh. maybe she made a deal with them behind closed doors to say, like, I'll take the broken one, you take the fucker. A glimpse into Ben's mind, and it was like True. a gorgeous couple, and they're like, definitely, we don't care, we're not that superficial. And she's like, I am, give her to me. I could, I could see her doing that. That that makes sense. Now that <laughs> that is adding up. 
Yeah. But I'm I'm pretty sure I saw you come out of her. It was disgusting. Ugh. But I don't know because they all they, they everyone. Babies it would be easy to make random. a transfer. Yeah, you're not going to. Unless see it's a baby. black baby, then you'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but, sorry, sorry, hubby. Wait, listen to this. Um, so interesting. Could be a new arc. Getting married. We're, We're getting, getting married. married. Honeymoon. We could honeymoon gonna, at the same. And then I can go. <laughs> hey, it's not incest. I did get the banging bitch. What? And this is a fantasy in my, my See, opinion. You convince everybody so that Grace isn't really you know, your daughter, so that <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's crazy. What we should do? We should have a honeymoon at uh, the same place. Because you're you're honeymoon. very pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. I know. Who would be the? Who would be the? Um, who would be this? Like the? Wouldn't you just like be like? a hundred times like it's like ridiculous people be like are you kidding me she settled for that guy do you hear that wait for you he can't even get his head off a pillow <laughs> you settled for that do you guy think girls would be jealous of you yeah i think they would i mean That's, my other marriage you're just was grace fucking you're just was darius <laughs> I like what that, no, you're just coping you don't think that's true he got the bang Dad, bitch who can't have any friends. That's very convenient. sexually attracted to you. Dad, I think lots of women are very sexually attracted to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a him, like, you know. All right. Uh, I think it's like there is no relationship. The it's like they just gave up. Yeah. From Grace. Except the occasional, like, staring out the window. <laughs> Don't you guys try to run away. <laughs> I like to think, what? I like to <laughs> I like to think she has like deadlocks on the doors and stuff and like <laughs> they're, they're talking about Courtney I guess being mad that Joey got uh, abducted Ben oh yeah Maggie right. sorry I added this <laughs> like as if you could added actually comment. stop kids from being like I don't want to do this is that yeah. a piece of car <laughs> Like, oh, um, look, it's funny. She's hey, paranoid. Oh, I know. I'm, hey, uh, no, but sorry. they're making fun of the fact that Courtney is paranoid because they yeah. kidnapped or they abducted Joey. They've tried to get Tommy to come live with them. Like, I think Courtney has a reason to be afraid of going to work now. Yeah. Wait, did you mute it? Ben just spit up gunk on Wait, his did lip. you mute it? <laughs> he no. just was kidnapping. I don't know why it, it didn't. Ugh. It was muted. Plus, they're like, okay. When he said it, uh, okay. he was okay. like kidnapping. And then yeah, he like yeah, yeah. spit duper, up. Like, duper. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a mixed real and fake uh, deniability factor. Yeah. I mean, there's this. Uh, I think, uh, yeah. to me, uh, I think Ben. Um, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, I think Ben likes making these weird, has these fantasies about marrying Grace, and he's makes it into this joke where he gets to to play to play with the fantasy with Grace. So anyway, we're we're gonna show a little bit of this. This is yesterday's stream where Grace, you could tell, was just in my opinion sleep deprived or something, just completely out of it, depressed, whatever. And Ben's going on and on, and then he yells at her because she yawned. She didn't even yawn, though. She, he, would, he could just tell she was tired. Happy that I've got you who can get me so much more than I could get by myself. Uh, there you go. Pretty. But I respect you completely. I know you do. I know you do. Okay, so I'm not saying you don't. But, but I think both of us are like, okay, but it feels so like, you know, everyone's saying all this shit. So, like, I'm not going to own that, like, it's me and this other person, and that's it. It's got to be like, well, can't we bring someone else in the family in? Or what about your mother? She has some talents. Uh, you know what I mean? But it's like, they go, no. No, not as of now, no. Okay, but like, two is so much better than one. I love it. And why don't we just say, all right, we're going we're gonna to like just not look to collab with someone anymore. Because Grace is really sad, and Ben is really sad because um, 
Darius rejected Grace, and I think this guy Loner Box didn't want to work with Ben. So they're really, uh, you know, I think really depressed. Both of them, nobody wants to work with them. Grace feels like she has no friends. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. I did that. Fast forward a little. Or I mean, rewind. Maybe yeah, I, I transform mean... that like horniness into a horniness to succeed because that's more likely to pay off, honestly, right? <laughs> it is more likely to pay off, yeah. And I think for you, it's more like I don't really think you're looking for a boyfriend at this point. But I think you're looking for friends. And I think it did break your heart that Darius is such a fucking loser. And I think the loner box thing hurt you because I was like, yesterday, I was like, I think you can work this guy and you guys could have a lot of fun together. He seems like a nice guy. And he's just a fucking asshole. Like, I literally fantasize about kicking his fucking faggot <laughs> ass. You know, and I would not stop. This is just him. I, I believe you. Gross. I, I think but then again, he probably is like one of the nicer people on the internet and one of the nicer <laughs> people out there. It's <laughs> he just nagged and paused or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there was love bombs, Darius. Fuck Darius. I would have beat it. You know, I kicked uh -huh. his ass, but actually he's one of the nicer people out there. You guys see this? It's not different to internet right. than real life. Well, he did that for people her benefit to be Chris. like, I'm your boyfriend. I would beat I think I'm just for her. I think I'm just. And then, and then also, I think yeah, he's always trying to keep the door open. Our fan, he's the only one that sympathizes, so we should keep him around. Or like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah, I'm mad that not only do we get like kind of kicked in the nuts, but then we also like we get seventy five viewers on a stream, which is like it's fine, but like it's like losing on both. Well, look, look how sad. Have, yeah, we have fifty two viewers and. We stream on random Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. um, granted, about the Thorpe stuff, but you know, I think the people that watch them are probably either Grace Simps or interested in the drama. Sides. No. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying, and I'm developing this as we're talking. Separate the hope for friendship, despair of it. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. Separate the hope for friendship, Grace. Despair of it. Like, yeah. like Fuck it. you're never going to find friends. Even yeah. though Grace had a group of girlfriends in high school. If she deleted all this stuff from her Instagram. But you, if you back for, for a while, you could watch that she had real friends. And yeah. she was like a normal teenager, at least at school. It seemed like, you know, everyone goes through fucked up issues. But Ben made sure all those friends disappeared. When you ask her about her high school friends, she says, oh, they didn't really understand me. They didn't really know me. You know, no one was good enough. And I'll despair of pussy. I, I know not everyone not watches it. them as a simp. I it's watch unlikely. them. Unlikely. And friendships and collabs the same. <clears throat> on no, no, no. Simps and people interested. <laughs> yeah, okay. People are interested in us in terms of personalities. And I know people are interested in what I have to say intellectually, even though I haven't had much of a chance to do it. I know I've got something there. And so... Let's drop that other thing of like, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, it would be nice. It would have been nice for Jesus to have friends. It would have been nice <laughs> if the Jews were like, hey, God's Sorry. coming to visit us. Let's throw a party and be nice to him. He you can't are really stop lucky. Identifying with Christ ever. He's like, Christ had no friends. So we should just say, fuck it. He was, at you least know, he, he was crucified. Was, at least he was, um, you know, influential. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then yeah. it's like, Christ in his mind. I don't think he's actually like it. It might not, his, but his birthday is Christmas. That wasn't even Jesus's real birthday. Okay, come on. It's like mm -hmm. Father and daughter. <laughs> Two people can like trust each other. That's enough. Look at Grace's eyes. She's you're like, an editor, know. and you're like funny. I'm intellectual. I think it's she like, had oh, not slept. The internet is beautiful. Really Why don't we be grateful that we don't need to collab with these people? Mm -hmm. need and make some tighter to. stuff and, and believe yeah. in it Insta instead of saying like well I need another friend or I need this or I need that but like we did need to get there ourselves but I think we're there let's just relax on the hope and, and, and you can stop me too when I'm like Grace look at this beautiful woman you know? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> or just stop. Shamu. It's so funny they're upset that people don't want to work with them because they gay up every single person they've ever worked with. It's the lot it was the logical conclusion. <laughs> like, yeah, they've they've fucked yeah. with everyone they've, they've ever worked all with. The bridges. Whether yes. it was Smith and you know, granted he was psychotic, but you know, Ben fucked with him and tortured him. No, no, you mm -hmm. know, excuse for Seth, whatever, being weird to Grace, but or you know, Darius burning his clothes, like <laughs> every know, single person. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Rizzo. Yeah, he got <laughs> Would I love to have a woman my age that I can relate to who could help organize our stuff? Yeah. Is it going to happen? One in a trillion. And if it's going to happen, it's not going to happen. Look at her. I She's so sad. Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, okay. She's like, okay, okay. Okay, All okay, right. yeah. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, this time, even though no one wants to work with us and I have no friends, this mm -hmm. time we're going to make it. That. Same with you having friends. Forget it. Forget it. If you want to have friends, <laughs> then you need to be a conventional person. See, Which, it's, it's like, fine. what a great dad. You'll never have friends. He's basically saying the only way you could have friends is being normie. Fuck off. There's a million people that aren't normies that have friends. And you can yeah. work at the supermarket and complain about the boss just like they do, and they'll be your friends. But yeah. if you want to do what you're doing, you won't have any friends. You shouldn't expect to have any friends. And I'm just saying, like, sit with that and say, Damn. Like, is that okay? Because, like, I really, I really wish my mom could apologize. And my sibling, oh my God, you're so rude. Mm. Bye bye. Fuck you. What are you talking about? What are you talking? What? Wait, you guys see this? Yeah, I know it's a minute late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reaction Ben gives to that yawn is a minute late, by the way. Like, so gr what Grace apparently, yawned apparently earlier. What actually happened? Well, she did yawn, she did yawn. Who cares? Uh, but apparently, what happened is like there's like a glitch, and so like Grace's eyes looked like they're like half open for like a whole minute, you know, like she was like, mm -hmm. you know, and so he got mad at that, and then he was like. Okay, there was a misunderstanding. I guess I admit that I'm sorry, but I'm not really because then he starts just berating her about everything. It's like right crazy. Yeah, I mean, um, so stupid. Look at her; she's shocked. She's like, even if she she's shocked, on, whatever. Yeah. And he's saying like, you didn't. This is this is what it's like to live with Ben. Like, you didn't respond <laughs> in the correct way, like oh, many abusers, and therefore you're gonna get my rage. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you actually talking about? I was sitting here listening and nodding. What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Hello? What Hello? just happened? Oh I didn't even yeah. yawn or anything. I'm shocked too. <laughs> Poor kid. I didn't even. I wasn't even being rude. I was listening. What? Like, what are you talking about? I didn't zone out. I was sitting here. What? Well, I did not yawn. Wait, watch that back. I was reading it. I was doing the same thing I've been doing for the past ten minutes. I was involved in the conversation. What? I did not yawn. I'm shocked. You guys are just fucking I did, with me. Well, yeah, I the didn't cat yawn. was saying you yawned. I didn't yawn. Here, I'll go back. I'll go back. I yawn. have no idea what it happened. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah, whatever. Who cares if she yawned? Yeah. Complain about the ball. She hasn't slept. She like goes back and looks at it. I was like I watching this and then like kind of like accidentally pausing it on like her face and she would just be like, I was like, oh my God, that person. She's so tired. It's so yeah. tired, yeah. She was just kind of like sit. I was in, by the way, I tried to get on through a, a StreamYard link to <laughs> talk, but you know, yeah. that wasn't going to happen. I know it was stupid. No, I started it. I was like, let RD on.
<laughs> Doctor ID. Bang hey, comes back on. on. They're just fucking with me. I mean, okay. Listen well, to you're him. saying maybe the camera glitched when your eyes were blinking or something, and it looked like. Yeah, because your camera glitched for me. You went like static for a second. And uh, I thought it was just my Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi. So that's... She's desperately trying to explain herself. Why, when you said that, I was like, okay. All right, so that's a total misunderstanding because I've never had any experience like that. It looked exactly like you were... Justification time. I mean, if you look back, my eyes weren't drooping. If you look back on the stream because it didn't glitch on the stream. Okay. You're right and I'm wrong, but it's a totally <sighs> but... understandable misunderstanding. It's yeah, totally I have fallen asleep listening to you before, so. If you... you know, they had fights about big, that. Big surprise. She fell asleep certain times when he would talk to her probably for <laughs> hours and hours, and that was big the evil. Big surprise, bro. Just like, that <laughs> sounds about right. Incredibly rude, right? Yeah, definitely. But that's not what happened. That is not what happened, I swear. was what happened. I think it looked like it because it glitched. I swear to God, I, I just know I wasn't. Grace, all I'm saying is, look at her. She's desperately trying to explain herself. Like it glitched. It glitched. I mean, yeah. What do you guys think it's like when Ben's not being filmed? You know, and she's he's saying he fell asleep. I think he gets so angry sometimes exactly. that he <laughs> he hurts himself with his own or, or maybe violence. He, no, he we're, like you know no, like the idea. Know. No, but that's what I'm trying to say is like right. the other day when she was like, I feel so bad that I made my dad hit me because he was so angry at me and then he hurt his arm. That was my fault. Right. She said that he bit her and, and hit her arm. Yeah. I think that that's how fault. it is. Usually I think he just goes to that. He snaps to that um, immediate response of correctiveness mm -hmm. by violence. And he's just like hits her. It's like, grass, wake up right. when I'm talking to you. Exactly yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Know. Okay, so it's not like I'm a jerk for making it like how would I possibly think it glitch right then? Yeah, I that's why I, I it just it, it came out of nowhere. I just was like, I whatever. Yeah, it's just a misunderstanding. Okay. So I apologize completely for, but I, I would say that like the only thing I would say is like, it seems like you're kind of saying like you're a victim of life and you're going to be sour and it's my job to like, like sit here going like, na, 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 hey. And I, I really, I, I did that with your mother for like years and some people are just miserable people. And yeah. so. Like he's saying, you need to be happier when I tell you you'll never find friends. You need to look. I'm trying. I shouldn't have to like be the the parade guy making you excited. Like, you know, like, you know, it kind of is a little. I can. I, I, yeah, I feel like I it's a little gay just to be sitting there going like, mm -hmm. like either like she's making him feel stupid for not responding better. Perk up. I think what I'm saying is interesting. I'm offering it to you. You kind of were a shit earlier when you're just like this really was on. Like you could have been more just like. I don't want to be here and I'm letting everyone know that I don't want to be here. And it kind of sucks because it's this is our career. And you know, you kind of yeah. saying, like, well, I'm just gonna be here like a little fucking baby, acting like I find Spicoli boring and or whatever. Spicoli, you know what? He's just a pervert weirdo. Uh, I get he's funny, I guess, but yeah, I can see how Grace is bored by him. He says the same shit every stream. I think it sucks, and I was looking for you to like pick it back up and be like, you know what? Like a partnership is not where one person decides anytime they want to, they can just be like, this sucks. I'm a victim. No. Yeah. Although Ben apparently was, I didn't see it, but apparently Ben and Grace streamed today uh, to review some kind of destiny debate. And apparently it only lasted for a little bit. I, I don't know. There's a way you can say like, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking about, about but Ben apparently gave up on the stream. He was feeling sad and bummed out is what Grace said in the server. So Ben can do that whenever he wants if he's not feeling it. It's, it's like you're acting like a victim of me, and I'm not interested in that. You like, I don't, to do your best. We're here. I really don't think she's acting like a victim of Ben here. I think that he he just took it that way. 
you know she is a victim of ben here that's the reality well, that is the reality but i don't think she's overtly feeling sorry for herself i think he all he he adds that to whatever right. he wants to see about it and complain what about it you know yeah she mm -hmm. is a victim of ben all the well, time and what he's saying is don't let the audience make it see, seem like i'm victimizing exactly. you you look, need to respond you correctly. need to look enthusiastic when i tell you mm. you're never gonna have friends you should be like yeah you're the only one i ever need in my life and yeah. thank you dad thank you for pointing that out nobody is as real as you right uh, and that and then ultimately that's where you get what do you need me to do dad do you want to give me 80 hours or timer to make sure that i kidnap one of my uh, or abduct one of my siblings yeah. or convince one to come live with us and then you know just whatever we're doing our job and you yeah. feel like well whenever i feel like i, I can just kind of like just say i personally am going to be a shit for no reason yeah i'm no, not I down i'm not down with that i'm not down for that okay so if you want to do that fuck off <laughs> okay Okay. I knew I was acting like that. Then. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Don't do all it right. again. Wow. See, see, this is the kind of thing that makes me say, like, all right, fuck her. I've got to find another woman. And then I waste all this time doing that. And then I come back to you and I'm like, okay, you know what? Whatever. I don't need a woman per se. I would just like someone to be able to work with. And then you do that. And then I go off and do this again. So figure out what you want to do. But obviously, you don't like, you just want to waste time and play the victim. I sat there with your mother doing that. I know. I know. But I thought maybe if I just like Grace is Courtney now, and I've asked Grace this, Amelia's yeah. too. Where you, you guys had something to unite against when Courtney was there, you know, Ben told Grace she was the the chosen one, or or you know, mm -hmm. we're not talking about the allegations or worse. But when Courtney finally disappeared from their lives, then Grace became that next piece to destroy, to abuse, or whatever. I was really upset yeah. so i thought maybe if i just was i don't know i thought if i was maybe honest about it and i just was the shit that Look, i felt like i've being. been sitting i've been laying in bed writhing in pain a lot of it okay what have i ever said to you like such i'm a victim, victim of life and i'm gonna be sour and you have to cheer me up what oh have my said god that? What have I ever done he, he says that in so up. many ways all i've the time. seen him do that we all have because i feel like a victim and i feel like the world owes me i didn't do that the entire time you did yes i'm a yes i'm a bitch I say like, ah, oh, fucking hurts. But then I'm like, you know what? Thanks for being here with me. It's like, and you could say, well, that's for guys to do. And it's for women to be just sulking fucking cunts. No. I knew I was sulking. It's time for you to decide whether you want to grow up or be a baby. I don't want kids in my life anymore. Ever again. Who are doing that. I don't want them in my life. I want people who are going to decide to act like adults. And be cheerful and make the best of situations. If you're not up for that, fuck off. You're just like Darius. You say, I don't like this about Darius. Then you do the exact fucking same thing to me. Screw you. I know. I, I understand. I, I I get you saying that. Start your own. Look, it is perfect. Be the sulking cunt. They'll accept you with open arms. Loner Box will love you. Complain. Blame your dad for everything. Say you're going to create boundaries and have the mediocre life of me. Oh, look. He's uh -huh. saying, if you said it. If you created boundaries with me and escaped, he knows people would accept Grace. Like yes, all yeah, kinds yeah, of yeah. Tumors. Oh, absolutely. No, it would benefit her beyond what Ben can ever give her. By the way, because I mean it's, that's the world that we live in. Grace, if you ever came out and you said the truth and, or whatever that means, I don't know what that means. And you left, and you you found a way in you to express the truth of your experience with your dad, then you would get a lot more than Ben sympathy could ever offer and, you in terms yeah. of sympathy, in terms of people, of uh, connections, for you, career. connections, but, and yeah, of course he knows that he utilizes though, this idea that all of those people are losers. So if you were to sink to that level at that point, yeah, there would be tons of people there for you. You could have all the friends you ever wanted, but all the just let you know, you would be a loser. You would be, a, you would live a mediocre life. From you'd me. be a normie. You'd be a normie, and because that's the thing. Again, if you created healthy boundaries, Grace, you would have not only sympathy and people helping you with. I'm sure people would give her a place to live. So I bet people would give her tons of money to help her escape from oh, Ben. You know, but it. and then she would have all kinds of streamers wanting to work with her. And but Ben is essentially saying, but you'll lose. You'll be. You'll be an idiot. You'll be a, you'll a lose boring his person. Credibility in in his eyes. Well, and what did she say to us, guys? There was a VC where yeah. we should play this next week. Where uh, we said, you know, yeah. she said. 
you know, all I've known in my whole life is chaos mm -hmm. and fighting. And I honestly don't know what it would be like without that. Yeah. Misery and... that you want to have while not having to abdicate being a streamer. I have no interest in it. I think it's a, I think, I think it's a bad pattern that I got. I, I, I don't want to hear anything more about bad patterns. Adults don't always say that bad pattern, bad pattern, bad pattern. They make it happen. And it's time for you to make it happen. If you can't make it happen, then go be a baby somewhere else. Okay. I think I invested enough over these past five and a half years in showing you that like I sympathize and now it's time for you to either grow up or just be a baby until you're Again, done being a baby, but don't do it around me. I don't think Ben sympathizes with Grace ever. I, I think wake up this in the middle is an of night example and I... of that, you know? Like, she did one wrong in his mind. It's not that he's sympathizing with her. There's no sympathy involved in this. Sorry. Uh, that no, was no. what was so interesting about the VC call, because it was in reaction to this. Right. And she was like, oh, I just like me. I don't want any friends. But I'm desperately looking for a sympathizer of some kind. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to say, like, no one's going to sympathize with you because they don't understand or support your relationship with your dad. Right. And so, and if, like, you know, yeah. like, nobody's going to sympathize with you as long as you're like, I need you all as my sympathizer to sympathize with my dad. And, like. Yeah. There, nobody's gonna do that you know nobody sympathizes with you so in your mind your dad is the only sympathizer that you have your only friend which is it's under false prison your dad does not sympathize with you right you and know? ultimately what she's looking for when she says sympathizer is just some kind of uh simp or something that will just give <laughs> her attention she yeah. can unload on occasionally and talk shit you know, like Dar some... like Darius was that not not, not, right. not not saying that that was him or anything, but like that was yeah, it was what it he was. was he was the grace. so this is the loss you're watching her uh right uh you know mourn for the loss of her one sympathizer in her life right um, you're gonna help me if if you feel like yeah. we need to revisit all of this stuff that's fine but like don't half help me and then be a bitch I'm not down for that I hate it. I hate it. I don't care if I never see you again. I never want to do that again. I'm not okay with it. We're not learning. We're not going to get there. We're not making progress. It's over. I'm done with it. Try that again on me. This reaction all for yawning or something or being mm -hmm. tired. What are you okay. so angry at me for? <laughs> what? He takes it as aggression. You got a great life. You're a beautiful girl. You got a microaggression. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Please get out of my, get out of my life. Just live up there. Go get a job. This is why we can't get anything done because you're a loser. I know. I know. So just end it. Just yeah. end it, Grace. You tried for a day. Good for you, sweetheart. You tried for a day to be a nice person. It didn't work. You're a loser, in my opinion. I'm cruel, in your opinion. Let's just move fucking on. All right? I'm Do like your you're fucking loser cool. sibling, John, and your loser mother. Be embarrassed about what's on the internet. You've already started taking all your streams down. Just keep taking your streams down. Maybe leave some of them up there because you have integrity and leave me fucking alone. I told you I'm not into what I'm doing. It requires adulthood. It requires maturity. You don't have it. You never will. Get lost. Do not be embarrassed. Ugh, but me. I just, okay. All right. I don't want you on my channel. It's the last time. Go do your thing. Be a victim. Say stupid shit on your channel. Get struck. Get your channel taken down. And then just call it and go get it. Go get a fucking job. Get a job. That's what Jesse Lee Peterson would say to you. Get a job. Get off your dad's thing. You can't handle it. You're a loser. You're a daughter of the devil. You can try one day of being nice and saying, like, you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm not going to attack you anymore. Oh, right. I fell for it. Sorry. You're a loser. The sad Lose. thing is, is that this is love. Leave me alone. Don't grace. come down here anymore. I bet. Yeah, this is, yeah, to her. He cares about Don't me. Don't tell me you're sorry. Don't send me your texts. Don't do any of the stupid stuff you do. It's all a mistake. You're a loser. But here's the positive side, Grace. You can take your loser personality and blend right in with all the other loser streamers that are mm -hmm. like you're better than them or whatever. And you can have your stupid fights with them and be one of them. I hate it. Listen, I, I see. Like you could just be. I don't like, think I was really. I, I'm not really like this. Yeah. This sort of stuckness and this shittiness is not coming from people rejecting us. It's not really that. It's just. It, it's like. I mean, it's bad. It's it's like it's just anger at the fact that like that I keep like you don't mind. want Christianity involves. Like letting go God. of a lot of things and embracing some other things. You don't want to do it. So I don't want to be with someone who's sacrificed like, your to life. To me, it's not my deal. It's just a deal. You're not going to have the things that you think you need. And you're going to complain about that. I don't fucking want to hear it. What things do I think I need that I'm, that I'm saying I, I am not okay? The approval of others. The approval of others. Which is but really. You give a shit. No, things. you.
people yeah when he says the approval of others he's talking about people being able to sympathize or understand with her actions when mm -hmm. she's in alignment with ben mm -hmm. um which yeah, yeah you're, you're not you're not gonna get that from yeah people <laughs> Through her actions. You. Fuck you, you fucking That's loser. all they can see. She's a totally crazy idiot psychotic. You care that she's mad at you and it hurts you. Go lose. I don't think that's really true. I don't yeah, think I that's... do think it's really true. I do think it's really true. I hear just... what other people think. You're scared of other people constantly. And you're afraid they might say something about you. Or see you do something that's going to embarrass you. Fuck you. I mean, he, he, this is him constantly, in my opinion, trying to uh, groom her or whatever you want to call it to stop feeling embarrassed about our relationship mm -hmm. accept it for as fucked up as it is in the in public and accept it stop being worried about thinking these certain things are wrong stop and just seeking the it. approval of others right right you're not going to get friends you're not going to get collaborators whatever we do is right whatever i do ben whatever you do for me is right stop there's questioning no shame that shit. Don't, yeah. don't be ashamed right yeah i mean embarrassment i like I like to point this out is that uh, the thing that he's really afraid of, it's like the embarrassment reaction, but that that is like a certain natural shame that you would feel from being in this type of relationship with your father. Right. Um, you know, that is shameful culturally. Mm -hmm. And as far as you live in this culture, as far as you live in this society, people are going to see it as shameful. And so any well, other yeah, reaction abusive. other than... Yeah, uh, and it's a weird relationship. It's a fucked up relationship. In my sure. opinion, you know, I believe that Grace and Ben, and he <clears> said <throat> that it's incestuous emotionally, at least have an unhealthy relationship in that context. Yeah. We don't yeah, know how true. deep it goes. I'm afraid of getting embarrassed. That's true. But not really, but like, yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah. really, really. I'm afraid of getting embarrassed. That's it. Okay. The taking streams down thing, that's not because I'm embarrassed. I, I said I'd put it all Oh, yeah, you're not self-sabotaging right now. Well, there's there's a strike. If I get another strike, all of it goes away. And I, like, it's just okay, the most prudent thing ways. to do for right now. Whatever. You know, you can always say, like, I don't know how that happened. But here you got fucked again. And I'm playing the victim. I don't know how that happened. I went through this with your mother. You've learned how to, like, fake it. But you are a person who wants comfort and the approval of others. Go live that life. And you I'll go live my it life. for me. Wait, he wants comfort. He's in bed 90% of the time. I don't care about yeah, that but stuff. Yeah, but he's you like, do. you I, want comfort by being not near me. And like, you right, know. Right, and, I yeah. completely understand. I'm just not interested in doing it and trying to persuade you that like, you know what? God did fuck us over and I hate him too. And misery is normal. But hey, buddy, let's be, fuck you. Fuck you. You should expect nothing, but you should be, you should every day look forward to death. To the that. most miserable, painful death imaginable. As a Christian, that's the minimum. And no one wants to do it. I don't care. I want to do it. I want to at least aspire to do it. I'm going to act like someone who understands Stop that. you're not going to because you're a to baby. Have you feel angry and be at the a world. normal person. You then should have aspire a for the worst possible outcome of like, because that's what you are. You're a Christian. So you should aspire towards pain and mm -hmm. an end that just results in you being trapped forever in this mm -hmm. whatever, you know. I don't know. Because it hasn't given you what you wanted, which is a cozy, little ba Brady Bunch fucking life. Suck my dick. You, I actually, I just don't think that's true that it's like that I don't have a, like, I, I that I don't have a Brady Bunch life. It, it just doesn't make any sense because yesterday I wasn't faking it. I was friendly with you. I wanted to just like build stuff together and I didn't really, you know what I mean? We were just having fun and making videos and stuff. I'm saying like, yeah, it was a shit today, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, it's not like I was lying yesterday and now today I'm like a different, like I'm the real person. It's like, I mean, you could say that, but that's not really what happened because it just... It's like it's like it's like when sometimes I'm on and sometimes I'm off. Yes, I should fix that. I should always be on, but it doesn't mean that like I'm really off and I'm just pretending to be on. Like that's not true. When I am on, I'm on. Okay. So you have a vision of relationships in which like it's just like there's switches and sometimes you're on and sometimes you're off. That's not how relationships work. There's a basic level of respect which has to be there and it, you can build you trust need to on always that. Be on. That was what I thought happened yesterday. You don't give a fuck. You actually don't give a fuck. You don't have any respect yesterday, and you never will. Go maybe find someone else. Yeah, sorry. When he means yesterday, was that mm -hmm the bar when they were at the bar and she was uh no i think he means the then? the marriage stream oh well anyway stream. regardless of whatever stream it was she was like on his level of mania. she's laughing at his stuff his, yeah. yes she's yeah. like mirroring him and stuff and then he's trying to be like look you, that was all just a play act you're you're using an affect 
and, and which is, I, I honestly think that's true all the time. I think that to be on in front of Ben means you have to play up that affectation for him. And it's, love it and laugh at it's it. For his benefit. Yeah. Like I said about, uh, karma Homolka, you know, like anytime that like, it seemed like there was a new suggestion. It was like, she had to become overly enthusiastic about it mm-hmm. and say, yeah. Oh no, no, no. It's an affectation to say like, this is also me. I'm also like super grateful for you mm-hmm. uh, suggesting this stuff to me. And it means so much. And yeah, thank you, dad. Like the, those are that kind of thing. It's not that, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's like, it's not that she, uh, I think mm-hmm. she has to play that up right. in and order so to survive. So it's, it's not very like... Simple. Right. She yeah, wasn't right. doing that in this stream. And so Ben punished her for it. That you can have respect yeah. for. Because yeah, it's totally. not gonna, you can't put the toothpaste back in that tube. You are never going to respect me. Move on with your life. Okay? I wish you the best. I, I right, Whatever. It's not a judgment of you. You couldn't do it. Motor box sucks. Destiny sucks. People suck. I'm okay with that. You're not. So go get what you think you can get from the world that I'm telling you you can't. Okay. I just everyone agrees with you. In the world. I don't think that I can Some get talent. that in the world. I don't think I can. See? I just think I was acting like a shit. And but you don't get to say like, well, you know what? I was just totally disrespectful for no reason whatsoever because you asked something of me. That's not how relationships work. And now look at you looking at yourself, just like your fucking stupid mother. You, when push comes to shove, you Honestly, are now consulting with the devil. I don't want the devil in my life, and therefore I don't want you in my life. Appearing like that, kind of Courtney. Like at at a certain point, yeah. Look at it. Courtney looked like staring, this. Yeah, like she was staring being berated, at nothing. taking it, saying, "Oh my god, yeah, you know, I no, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, you're right. I am a shit. Um, let me let me hear you out while I contemplate the, my wrongs and then like correct them for you. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Like, so she's acting like Courtney because she's being abused like Courtney in our opinion. And Grace is sleep deprived and mentally fucked. And Ben is punishing her for that yawn, for being tired and not you know giving the Sounds effect so that he ridiculous. wants. Ridiculous. Get the fuck out and she stay is, out this time. You got he it. He is punishing her for that yawn. <laughs> you got it. And when you can figure something else out, let me know. But it's not going to be anytime soon. You're a loser. You think misery. You, you see misery as the norm and you have no cause. You have no cause whatsoever to respond to life that way. You are wrong, in my opinion, to respond to life that way. Wrong. I mean, that's also wrong. I don't well, know. She sh- what, what do you mean? Like, yeah, she feels fucked up. Okay, but don't you think there's a pattern I feel fucked where up, I, like, like, I have to look at this, like, uh, you know, nobody that succeeds, like, looks at life in this, like, way. Uh, shit, but yeah, I act like shit know. and I get you into this place. And it's because, like, okay, I'm not saying it, like it's right, but I'm just saying, like, this sort of anxiety and anger builds and builds and builds until I act like so much of a shit. I knew I was being disrespectful when Spicoli called in. I knew that. But I knew I was just openly, flagrantly doing it because I was kind of trying to get a reaction out of you so that I could, like, be real about the problems I'm having. I'm not saying any of that That's is That's called abuse. <laughs> so Grace is abusing Ben, you guys. Do you hear this? Grace is abusing Ben. Yeah, it is. And you I guys hear this? Don't think she was doing that. At all. No, she wasn't abusing Ben. She was sleep deprived and bored, having to listen to some Spicoli fucking pervert. Came on and he started talking about whatever. Everybody in the chat was like, "Dear bored. Lord, this is so fucking boring. Can we just skip this?" And like, yeah. she was bringing up comments like, "Can we, Spicoli? Can you just keep it to yourself today?" Like, you know. And I don't know. It's just like boring. Mm-hmm. It truly yeah. is just fucking boring. Like, how are you supposed to? Be like, oh God, what Spicoli? Let me take some notes. Like Spicoli, like thinks that dicks and vajayjis are blah blah blah. Yeah. Like you yeah, know, yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not going to do that to this person. You're saying I am going to do that to this person. Therefore, there is no relationship here that is positive whatsoever. Call it goodbye. Oh, what a baby! Of course, that's a lie too. He'll never leave Grace. I- I, I did abuse. I did. That was abusive. That is what I did. I acted like yeah, a how is to he going to do anything? Right. It's a pattern that I don't think is workable. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. I don't find it fun to have this like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. You know. And I'm done with it. I'm done with it. But 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 I've been okay. But I've been I, I've been mellowing it out. And this is still mellowing it out. I'm not crying. I'm not saying like okay, fine, whatever. I'm saying like yeah, okay. I was even worse. Shit. You don't even give a fuck at this point. You're like purely like detached or whatever. Like your mother's right. You can't handle me. It's fine. I get it. No problem. You You're can't a baby. Handle this she was a baby. Thrilling Total man. Loss. You can't Total handle lost. this vivacious man. Oh, by yeah. the way, who does that sound like? Like these women, you know, whenever we went through that list, I think it was like, it was Carla who was like, yeah. oh, I don't want to lose this thrilling man. So like Ben mm-hmm. is literally saying this, like 
she lost out on this amazing, thrilling guy. And, and you're going to you know, lose out on me, too. You're right. going to lose no out problem. on me, too. Yeah. I'll find a way to get through it. That's but like a you, threat. It wasn't God didn't better. guarantee me. God didn't guarantee me anything. So I'll take a total L. But I want to do what I started doing last night, which is interacting with people in religious fear. I'm, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this. It, it hasn't worked. It's been okay. too long. It's the better part of a decade. Own it, nigga. It's over. It's worthless. It's, it's nothing here. That's Maybe I true, played though. into it for a while. You played into my sympathies, just like your mother did. Oh, dad, dad, dad. You know, I'm feeling crazy, but I'm getting it together. You're not. You're totally disrespectful. You burnt through any care that I have for you, right? Fuck you for doing that to me. And good luck in your life. And that's it. I'm clean. I'm clear. I can go to confession and just say, like, here's the shit this person did to me, and it's over. <clears throat> Good. You're asking me to choose between God and you, and I choose God, and you can go to fucking hell. You sort it out with him. I can't help you anymore because it wasn't right what you did. And that's a good lesson to learn, Grace. Don't do things that are wrong and hope they're right. What's <laughs> God? Yeah. What Ben's in Don't do things that are wrong that you know are wrong <laughs> and hope that everyone is going to come around. Sin and evil have consequences. So Grace is evil and sinning. No, I think Ben is acting uh, evil and what sinning. What kind of I, abominations have been has been done? Yeah, <laughs> literal abominations. You, like I'm sorry, but that's well, what your it mother's is. idea that you could do things that are wrong and evil, and that like it's kind of cute in a way because you're female. It's not. I detest you. All right. I mean, I I, I was straight up abusive. I actually go like get a job. Go pay rent up there. I don't want to hear your complaints about your neighbor or anything else for the rest of your life. You burned it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And? You've never taken any initiative to do anything. That's not you, true. <clears throat> any more than your mother ever did. Sure, she made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich once in a while. She made a chicken what? once in a while. Give me a fucking break. Life is fine. It's an adventure. I invited you on an all adventure. The kids. You polite. Hmm? He asked, you know, she took care of the kids. Great. Or, no, Cor he's talking about Courtney. Anyway, it's okay. for five and a half years declined. Nigga, hate you. I wish ill to happen to you. An asshole to you. And I don't want your food. I, we're going to have to separate all this stuff. I, know, I, I don't right want too. your food. It, it doesn't work. You can't work out anything practical. Stop I serving you. me, Grace. I wish ill to happen to you. Wait, Wait let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> better. Okay. Wait, better. I've, okay. You know what? This doesn't make any sense for me to like make the claim to you. Okay. I just said I was a, I just said I was a jerk. I was an asshole to you. And I don't want your food. I, we're going to have to separate I don't all this want stuff. Your I food. went through this with your mother, too. It, it doesn't work. You can't work out anything practical. I hate you. I wish ill oh to happen to you. So he hates, he hates Grace because she yawned. He wishes yeah, he's like, ill I don't want your food you. anymore. Stop serving me. Because she yawned. Do you guys hear this? Yeah. But again, what is this reinforced to Grace? Do what this guy says. Yeah, make without him complaint. Happy. I'll yeah. be happy. And whatever he needs, whatever. Yeah. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. if ben wants me to troll Courtney, then I'm going to do it for him. And I don't want to do that. I want to be able to say, you know what? I wish you the best. Just like with your mother. I got nothing more to say to you. It, you could think of it as an advent, like a romantic adventure in trying to get connected with your dad. Whatever you want to call it. It what sucks from my point of view. It sucks from my point of view. Wait, you can consider it a oh, you know, romantic you know, adventure? Line, for yeah, wait, you guys wait, hear wait, this? Go back, go back, go back. Yeah. Sorry. That blew like my mind. But you know Just what? Like the little, I wish you the best. Like... Just like with your mother. I got nothing more to say to you. It, you could think of it as an advent, like a romantic adventure in trying to get connected with your dad. A romantic adventure in trying to get connected to your dad. Does everyone hear this? Can we stop fucking around? A romantic adventure in trying to get connected to your dad. That's what he wants. Whatever you want to call it. It sucks from my point of view. It's sucked from my point of view. Well, I bought okay, into wait, it. Thinking, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know, he's you know, down paralleling their thing with Courtney and his whole relationship. So right, and he was married to Courtney. No, he was. He was married was... and intimate with Courtney. So right. a and romantic a new relationship. adventure that failed for for both Courtney and now Grace with her own. Right. Yeah. Okay. On the line, she'll appreciate this. People like you, people don't appreciate generosity that's shown to them. They just take it and they presume it and they think of you as weak and then they stomp on your fucking face. And I don't want to do it anymore with you. Fuck you. Okay. You suck. I think you suck as a human being insofar as you relate to me. But that's just one relationship. I want you to try to do other things that make sense. And clearly, having a relationship with me is super unhealthy for both of us. I thought it was an act of generosity. I Keep in mind, like Grace said in her server, everything's good. Good today. Good today. Like, it's always a big loop. It's all a big game. But we get to hear exactly how Ben 
gaslights and makes Grace and abuses her and makes her go insane. You made a mistake. Whatever. Let's fix it. Get out. You can get a job. You can continue streaming. I don't give a shit what you do. You could be a whore on the internet if you want now. Humiliate me in that way. You can, you know, become some kind of lesbian, like not so erudite, and make enough money or whatever, and find yourself uh, like some sort of slave person to like live with or whatever. Good luck. John was right. He called it quick. He was a complete asshole, but at least it was over. Your mother was horrendous, and you're like the last. Bye bye. Fuck you. And maybe in the future, desperate. you will say to yourself, you know what? Dabbling in evil is not okay. What is she doing this? Especially evil? when it comes to people. She's dabbling. Well, Ben manipulated her and she's been dabbling in his evil, in my opinion. But yeah. Yeah. Is there any way I could make it up to you, though? I mean, it was like, nope. I know it's. A no. Is there any like, way I like, can make it up to you? No. It's, it's like. <laughs> No, because that's part of the cycle. I knew that's part wrong. of the cycle. You abuse me on purpose to provoke a reaction, and then you want to do this. I'm so, so sorry. It's a waste of time. God. What did she do? What a waste of time. You've wasted. Our family had close to a million dollars. Oh. You've wasted it all oh. by doing this. And wait, does everyone hear this? No, I fucking wait, hate wait, wait. Let's let them hear it. Let's make sure they hear that. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like it's it's like. No, because that's I part of the say, cycle. I knew that's part wrong. of the cycle. You abuse me on purpose to provoke a reaction, and then you want to do this. I'm so, so sorry. It's a waste of time. God, what a waste of time. You've wasted. Our family had close to a million dollars. You've wasted it all by doing this. And oh you, my so God. live with it, you know? Grace wasted the million dollars. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why is it hard for you to hear? I guess because it's so unfair and, like, fucked. Like, I just, like, I don't know. The whole mm -hmm. money thing. I wanted to add that to our uh to our clip is like that one video where mm -hmm. like it's like about the money and Ben is like, I think Grace she's the one with control. She's like all oh, right, you look, know, that's like a look, manipulation and look what Shamu just said. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for that since he gave he her the money. He never money. gave her the money. And then it was he blames her for wasting all the family's money and i know like how grace feels about this because it's like she, she doesn't have any control over that money even if it is in her control right even if it's it not is in her in her bank account right like, it was it was always watched, ben's money yeah, yeah yeah for sure we watched like um like the a stream when they were in the rv and they like ben convinced grace to feel better, let's go to Walmart or whatever wherever they went and go on like a shopping spree. And they they spent like a three hundred dollars on like underwear and like <clears throat> socks or something for Ben. And then afterwards, she was all like, "Ah, oh, oh, like we spent too much money, you know." But then she was like, "I can't blame my dad. It's not your fault. It's not your fault why I'm mad." But it it was like this consciousness over the money dwindling because of Ben's decisions to to spend it and like i don't know it, it yeah. sucks sorry like i just it, the money was no. utilized to get her in control so like when i well I no, don't it know. utilized it's crazy. it's crazy when he's like Babe. sorry yeah no 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 yeah. it, was just, it was utilized <laughs> to make sure courtney couldn't touch the money right it yeah was yeah utilized for sure to push the money into grace's account and there and that whole stream that you guys i don't know if it's still around <laughs> where like Courtney has to agree that Grace deserves the money for taking care of the kids, which she shouldn't have had to take care of those kids. You know, that was fucked up too. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all just a way, you know, for the divorce. But now Ben and, uh, has spent all the money and yeah. that's that. Just at least stop doing it. Okay, I don't know what I, I did wrong. She doesn't know what to say. She literally almost said that. I don't know what to say to that. And this is all... <laughs> All right, Sorry. guys. It is shocking. This was all because of Eon. Okay, well, we, we're ending with 60 people. Thanks for watching. Um, means a lot to us. Uh, we don't do this to troll Grace. Uh, we really do hope Grace can see this and I hope we leave Ben. Her. But I yeah, like I just want the warning to be heated. I know it sounds exaggerative that we would suggest that you would be capable of these horrible of, things that these women I don't have done. I don't think Grace even like considers what she's capable of in terms of what she would do for Ben. 
I I don't I don't think she thinks of the future that way or the idea right. of consequences. So it's good uh, to point it out and say, you know, like these people that you see right here, it's like maybe some of them were born that way, but almost I I think in my opinion, I think they were created by the men that they wanted to yes. you know impress to to take care of them and yeah. ultimately grace is a victim she's different than a lot of these women because she was his she is his daughter and but at certain points when she makes those decisions those are decisions she's going to have to live with but right now she can still leave and i hope that she does yeah um and Bench. I know that some people are going to watch this and laugh and be like, you know, she's never going to leave. Uh, but I hope that she does. Um, and um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. Thanks for Shamu for letting us use clips that he's he's gotten. Um, yeah, thanks thank to you, everyone. Uh, thanks to all our friends for being here. And uh, have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.